Thank you for your pledge on Patreon. Adama. Hey, yo, Flip. Yo. I'm going to put you on some fire, man. They got this new beer wash company. They got the lotion and the, the everything. What's their name? They got a recovery room. It's What's out- the name? Maestro's, Maestro's Classic. Three money's up front. I'll put, put you, you on. I'll put you on. No, I'll put you on the you Maestro's, sure? man. You forgot the way I brought you? You forgot where I brought you oh, up there? Oh, man. You forgot? You forgot man. about Ghost? Right, right. Who's what's, what's his name? Ghost. You know who he cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool, man. Yo, make sure you get your Maestro's Classic Beard Care products yes. today at Target, CVS, mm-hmm. or go on maestrosclassic.com and use the promo code QUEENSFLIP to get 10% off. 10%? That's it? I thought, Ten- it, was, I thought it was free if you put your... Are you crazy? All right, I get it. Make sure you go there today. Log on. Maestro's with an S dot com. I'm from Queens. G-Money! Yo. What up, man? What's good? What's good? I'm, I'm chilling. How you feeling? I'm feeling great, man. Yo, G Money, listen, I'm don't, good. don't start I'm just. I'm feeling good. Don't start. I'm feeling good. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got a treat for you today, man. I'm going to keep it 100, man. Like, Talk to me. You know, people have been. Yo, G Money sponsors. You're not sponsoring. Flip the script, you're sponsoring G Money. Stop atting me. Yo, my, I'm not wearing your stuff, bro. <laughs> Y'all ain't <laughs> cut me a check. I'm not wearing this. Stop at my name, boy. At his name. Boy, like I'm rubbing it in my face. What's what, what's that? That's the cash app? That's a new cash app? What's up, man? Jimmy, what you got for? How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good, man. How's you everything? Know, everything's fine. How you doing? I'm good, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. you know what I'm today was a good day. We had today a nice was... productive meeting today. Yes. Yes. I would not say with who, but it was it was productive. No, I put the picture up already. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we introduce you yet. Please don't talk. We, we, don't, we don't talk to the guests yet. Let me introduce you. Oh, here you go. He said, "Look, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> relax. Uh, we ain't relax. doing that. We ain't doing that. You gotta relax. We, can you, you not gonna respect the show? Um, no, I, I, def, I definitely. I right, so come on, hold on. Let me do my show intro, show. man. You <laughs> alright? Yeah, pardon me, Harlem shit. We always go through this shit, yeah. man. With the, yeah, yeah, DC yeah. Show. He hit me with the gaffle. That's why. Like, hey, go ahead, go ahead, flip. My fault. My bad. You right. Don't play my bunk like a chump. <laughs> not, the intro, not the intro, not the intro. He's, I already told him on behind the scenes, he, he might get the, well, yeah, we, we, you we, know. We took a picture with Space Ghost. Shout out to Space Ghost. Um, when did he leave the platform? Uh, what month? I don't know. It's been a while. About yeah. It's been a year? No, not a year. Not a year, yeah. It's been a couple months, like five, over five months. Five, six months. But, you know, welcome, welcome, you know, not welcome back, but, you know, we worked everything out and you had your conversation and we in good spirits, so that's good for uh, 2020. I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, mm. I'm proud of you. I'm good. Like, let's get on with the show. Huh? The sh- well, before the show, because you know I got some things I want to uh, say. G Money. <laughs> hold, hold on, don't try to skip past my sponsors, man. Shout out to number one draft pick, man. Queens. You know what I'm saying they they supply me with a, with, a, with a little situation here. <laughs> but, but wait, but wait, there's more. Hold on, hold on, oh, 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 Number one draft pick, you see it, baby. What's up? What's going on? There's more. That's it. I only want to. I had a whole bunch, but I ain't gonna. I ain't want to OD on you. You know what I'm saying? But you not doing are you done? Shout number one draft pick, man. Good. I got the tag on still too. I ain't take a tag so off. So that's a surprise you have for me. Yeah, yeah. I want to surprise you. Two for one special. You know what I'm saying? I don't like all that, man. Shout out to shout out to um you, G Money. <laughs> um, but other than that, yeah, G Money, yo. You ready? Ready. Episode one, three, eight. Nigga, Nigga we, we made, made it. it. We got a special guest. Mm. Uh oh. Laptop closing early today. Laptop closing early today. We got today. a special guest. Yeah, Kyle want to see this nigga. Round of applause. <laughs> Come on, let's keep the curses to a minimum. Oh, my fault. You, I'm sorry, you can I'm curse, sorry. but I'm I saying. I won't say not one more curse. I'm sorry. Because you know, edits. I didn't know that was a curse, but I'm, I'm, my bad. That's You're it. right. Paparazzi Poe in the building. Round of applause for my man. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what? Introduce, introduce your comrade real quick. My man B Mac, nigga. B Mac, what up, man? How you doing? No what's good? What's good, B? All right, man. Oh, man. Nigga. Yo, how you, we can talk from right here, or we got like we can. Hey, sit. Yo, yo, oh, <laughs> I can sit back on some cool nigga like I'm in my car, or I gotta be on some like. I thought you, I thought you was gonna curse. Oh, oh right. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Charge it to me, bro. My fault, bro. <laughs> man, how you charge doing? Charge How's everything? Um, pull the camera. Good mic, mic, mic. Yeah, you just Nah, everything is good. You know what I'm saying? Everything is good so far. 2020, you know. Why people say you're not Apple's son? Cause oh. I didn't like when I grew up. I wasn't running around with the shit written on my forehead. Out the gate. You know what I mean? Like when I was growing up, I wasn't running around with the shit written on my forehead. So that wasn't information I was telling people. That wasn't something that you want to tell somebody. 
So when it came out, it was like, oh, well, I knew this nigga my whole life and I never knew that he's lying. You understand? So, I'm sure people knew though. Yeah, the people who really know me, but how many of these niggas really know me? But people say that, you know, the, the, his sons or, or your brothers, you know, uh, some of them don't say that you're his, their brothers. I, heard, I, heard, I, I, I don't it's know. On, uh, it's only one brother that I know personally. The other one from D.C., I don't, I never met him, but oh, we spoke one brother. So you via the, social media. You and the brother is cool? Me and Gumby, yeah, we just on live yesterday, you didn't see it? Oh, okay, well, oh, I, so I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Didn't, I, didn't, he didn't, I didn't hear him say it, so nah, I'm we just knew, we, I mean, it's an interview out there with Sub-Zero where we both together, both our cars is parked together and... We talking our shit. It came out like two years ago. Let me ask you a question. So, what makes you think you, you you're his son? What makes me think it? Yeah, what makes you. Um, I don't know. It's a lot of similarities. You know, people spoke to me that knew him when he was my age. Told me similarities. But I, like, I really, honestly, don't really care at this point. It's just something that slipped out, and I'm constantly in a situation where I feel like I gotta defend myself because I don't really mind niggas talking bad about him. But when they say it in my face, I feel like they don't respect me. But what I'm asking you is that. What? I heard that, you know, somebody, they said somebody else was your father. Oh, where? Where he at? Now, come on, stop playing. You, you no, where he thing, at, you though? You don't think some pictures are surfaced on the internet by now? You heard the How same thing been we doing talked this? about this. We talked about this. How like, long you been it. doing this? Who you heard was your father? Who did I hear was my yeah, father? Yeah, the other guy. Remember, me, you, you talked to me about this before. Listen, the oh. other guy that I thought was my father when I was growing up, yeah, my oh. brother and my sister's father. Yeah, my mother got seven kids. You talking about seven. two niggas' father in my house. Shout, shout out to Mama Love. Yeah, some niggas. So, so, so what, did Mama Love tell you that Alpo was your father? She didn't have to tell me, like, as growing up, but later on, yeah. How did like, she break the news to you? Like, when the movie came out, I just got out of Juvenile, and I, it was a lot of shit that I didn't understand. And she pulled me to the side and was like, yo, this is supposed to be your father. Show me a few pictures. And she was like, I don't give a fuck about the nigga, though. Like, I thought you wasn't going to curse. Uh, my fault, bro. <laughs> it's all right. So, so you... So she told you that he's he supposed to censor me. Like I'm, like I'm a day room nigga. She right. never told that nigga he wasn't going to curse. Thank right. you, bro. That's my man right there. I'm trying though. It's like telling me doing good. Stop a habit. So, so the thing is, so she said, "Pardon me, G. You mm. know, I had to let this." So she gave you pictures. You, you seen him in the pictures around you as a kid? I seen, yeah, I seen pictures. No, with him and her, not. Oh, me. him and I her. Was, oh, okay, okay. Bro, I was it, four when it. he went to jail. You was what? Four. Yeah, I ain't know that Cause nigga. you called me on the phone with him. Yeah, I ain't know that nigga. I was four years old, and I just seen a lot of pictures of my mother's white minks and nice cars and jewelry. She had a whole, she had a whole jewelry box full of old ass flat links and all types of crazy dumb. Shit. You know what I'm saying? I just seen shit like you feel me. And then when niggas was telling me, me and older niggas in prison, they telling me, like, it got to a point where I actually wanted to know at one point in time in my life. If he then was when he father. came home, yeah, I had a conversation with him. And then we was just cool, you know what I'm saying? And he's like, yeah, I, I really with the DNA shit. I don't really got time for that. So, I mean. So you asked him for a DNA test? Cause I, yeah, I brought it up to him. I brought it up to him like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, kind of want to just get the, get past this, you know what I'm saying? So I can know what's going on. Because the nigga I thought was my father told me himself that I'm not his kid. We had a fight when I was young. Mm. He tried to throw me out the window. He's like, you're my son anyway, nigga. So that's what made me even seek a dad. Like, I'm like, oh shit, I thought this nigga was my pops this whole time, but this nigga was just my mom's. Like, you know the nigga that your mom's with that she could always go back to no matter who she with? <laughs> like, he was that nigga, like, he always can come back. He always find his way back in the house somehow, especially when my mom's got money. You gonna make it hard for me to edit. Oh, you back. My fault, bro. So, Damn. it's okay. No, I'll, I'll fix it up. Damn, so, man. so, let me ask you a question. Pardon me, G. I have to, you know, I have to definitely drill this. Out the gate. Do your thing. Do your thing. Out the gate. Um, how do you feel that people say when they say that he's a snitch? I don't, I don't feel no way about it. It don't have nothing to do with me. How do you feel that he told? I don't care about it. Oh. I don't care about it. It don't have nothing to do with me. <laughs> it doesn't. Yo, bro. It has nothing oh, to do with say, me. You said dad in the corner. Of the bro, it has I, nothing to do I, with I love, me. Mad people be snitching, bro. It has nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. That's like saying, how you feel about 6 9 being a snitch? It's, it doesn't affect me. Well, 6 9 not not your pops. All right. Well, But as he as he said, according to the world, it's not confirmed that it's my pops, right? right. He, even though I mm -hmm. called them on three-way, mm -hmm. and my dad said he's my dad to That's him. That's a fact. Right. He did. So I don't know. Let me ask you a question, though. You you don't condone snitching. 
No, I don't like it. When but, it's being done to me, I don't like it. So, yeah, I don't condone it. So, but you're saying that, are you being biased? Like, because... That he's your father, right? Yeah, I'm not being biased. Hold on, I mean, yeah. that he's your father, so you don't want to really divulge into that information. Like, you just like, I really don't care about it. It has nothing to do with me. But if it was somebody else, you'll get into more details. Like, yo, he's a snitch. I don't rock with him, but because he's your on, father. Nah, only if he snitched on me. Because other people's problems don't affect me. I'm not the type of person that's affected by other people's issues. Okay. So... When you think about it, like, let me just give you an example. Let's say my mom's, right? She was one of the first blood acts in New York. If she would have snitched, right, and some niggas, some people would have ran up on me and was like, they're going to do something to my mom's because she told. You think I'm not going to defend her? I see what you This is my mother. At the end of the day, I got a brother that's gay. People call him all the time. I'm sorry. People call him names all the time. I had to grow up fighting mad people because they told me that he was gay before I even knew he was gay. Mm -hmm. I had to fight mad people. Is, you think I'm going to let you say something about my brother right now? No, we're going to fight. It's the same thing. Like, it's family, so it's like, how can you expect me not to defend him? Like, I'm supposed to be like, okay, my mother told, so yeah, go ahead and shoot her. No. I understand. I'm supposed to let you say, call her all types of names in front of my face, in the flesh. You know this is my mom. And you're talking freely about my mom in a disrespectful manner. You think I'm not going to defend her? So if that's defending a the rat, then I guess that's me then. When did you first speak to Alpo? 2015, when I came home from my Comstock violation. You spoke to him on the phone? That's when he just came home, yeah. In 2015 he came yeah. home? Yes. What was that conversation like, the first conversation? It was like a four-hour conversation. And this was in person? or No, nah, over the phone. Okay. He just called me blocked like on some random sh sh you feel me? He just called me block. I, I don't know who gave him my number or nothing. Like, he just called me. He was like, yo, what's up? I'm like, what's up? And he was like, you know who this is? And I already knew it was him. I caught the voice, like. So, <clears throat> when guys like King Erna talk about I'll pose a rat and call you a mouse, like, how did that, st how did that, does that make you feel? How did that issue transpire with you and King Erna? I think, what, all right, hold on, hold on. How do I feel about it or how did the issue Both. transpire? It's two questions. All right, so how I feel about it is I feel like that's something that people from Philly, not all people, but I think that's something that people from Philly, like that's their terminology mm -hmm. because you got this guy named Meek Mill, right? And he always saying, your, your daddy is a rat, so you a fifth mouse. He say that in every song. Like he just puts great emphasis on that. Mm -hmm. So it brainwashes the people to say that. It's just like, if I say Louis Vuitton, Gucci on, or Pop Smoke say Micah Mary, Christian Dior, everybody want to wear it like that because he's saying it. So when people like Meek and other artists say, yo, X, X Y, and Z is a rat or and his son is considered this, mm -hmm. people let the music they take their life. But that's mm -hmm. not actually true because G Money, for example, no disrespect to your family, I don't know your situation, but mm -hmm. to say his dad ratted, right, back in the days, does that make G Money less of a DJ or a host or whatever he's trying to be in life? No. Right. It shouldn't affect him. If whatever another man did in his generation with his people shouldn't affect his kids, unfortunately it does mm -hmm. in a good way and a bad way. Because if he was one of those dudes who ended up on a shirt instead of where he ended up, then he'll be glorified in a different way like Rich Porter. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. But how I feel about it, I just feel like I've been so flawless for so long that people just look up, like look for things to say about me. Why did you just say glorified like Rich Porter? Cause they glor they make it seem like Rich Porter was like a hero, just because he died. Like what else did he do? Oh, slow down with the please. Be I'm just being honest. Be what mindful, did he do? Be mindful, just I'm, I'm being honest. I'm saying like, all right, cool. A legend. I don't know what he look. He, a legend, right? Nicky Barnes. Um, who's these guys? Told, Guy Fisher. All these names, you right? Can tell. They were legends because they actually did something. Whether it was for the community, for their family, an event. Now, Rich, Rich, Rich took care of his No, peoples. I don't know. I, listen, I don't know. Yeah, I heard he it's, a, it's, it's finally a, a documentary on it. He did. I don't know what he did for his people. So why would you speak on it if you don't know, Paul? That's what I'm saying. They glorify him only simply because That's he just died. just a good guy type of shit. Yeah, bro. he's looked at as a good guy That's just because he, he died. Say. He don't know no other reason to say he was good. We don't know him. He's looked at good because, number one, a lot of people talk positive about him. Like what? 
Except for your father when I was on the phone with you. No, but I'm saying like... Oh, let me finish. A lot of people say positive things like his father. He took care of his people. And he was... You seen the movie Who He Took Care Of? Yo. You seen the movie, right? Who did he take care of? I'm telling you what people say. I never seen that in the movie. All right, cool. Because remember, everybody believe everything in the movie, right? Mm -hmm. They always say that. You allow me to finish. I'm sorry. You're right. right. So people say that he took care of his people, you know, and on top of that, when he was killed, listen, Mm -hmm. His brother was kidnapped at the time. He was at a vulnerable state. On top of that, he went to your father in the movie. Not that I yeah, don't know in the movie, yeah, in the movie. He went to your father to ask your father for help, and it looked like your father snaked him out of some money. Okay. Over, your pop said that Rich was, was allegedly, Rich was robbing him. Stealing, yeah. Stealing. But... Yeah. At a time, at a vulnerable state, when his, uh-huh. when, when when his brother's kidnapped, his yes. little brother, yes, got to set a finger to McDonald's. Facts. Your father, yeah, chose Post- that time to handle a squabble, which people might have felt that number one, it was Rich Porter wasn't paying attention; mm-hmm. it was from behind, and number two, it just felt like how he was how, how he was done was dirty. And on top of that, your father said in the interview before, but I heard that if he could take anything back hurting rich porter he would take that back i don't know if i heard that i could take sure you know i could take the floor you know why he said that because that's the only reason why y'all hate him let's be real y'all love him everybody loves him just that fact that he did that makes everybody hate him tell me i'm lying that's the only reason why people hate him if he would have told and didn't kill rich they wouldn't care Cause all of them. Cause everybody told. else that's told, they don't care. They don't do Nicky Barnes like that. They don't do Frank Lucas like that. They don't do all the people that did what he did. The same shit, however way it went, they still glorify them minus the hate. Mm. People still use their names mm-hmm. as an acronym. People still compare themselves to them. But when I when you say a legend, a legend to me is Michael Jackson. A legend to me is Michael Jordan. A legend to me is Mike Tyson. Not somebody who does what we do every day. You take care of your family, and you and not and you could get victimized at a vulnerable state too. That make you a legend. Tell me something else legendary. Tell me something legendary. I could tell you something legendary. Everybody in the game still dressed like him, like Alpo right now. Even the people who don't like him, they can't like themselves because they him. They dress just like him. Still, I don't know what you told you. What you mean? What I'm talking about? You had me for a minute. Then you started going by. Bro, they just like just like him. Like him. How, how Alpo influenced, influenced the rap game? They all these people doing Dapper Dan Gucci because of him. Everybody's wearing Rolexes and making movies outside of clubs and all this flashy but guns I, I in the pictures. I thought Rich Porter was dressing like that as well. I ain't see it. Just because you ain't see it, that doesn't mean right. it happened. But yeah. you trying to, legendary people don't dress like Rich Porter. I ain't never seen no Dapper Dan Rich Porter. Show me that coat. Show me the legendary quote from Rich Porter. And there's nothing disrespecting Rich Porter. I'm just saying, people, there's other people who did the same thing Rich Porter did and they're still doing it and they're not considered legends. What do you, you think that it was appropriate that your father took that guy, um, who he took to the site? What's his name? The guy, um, Troy. I forgot him, Troy Reed. Yeah. What the, do I think that was appropriate? Hold on, hold on. But. I'm a criminal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that song is. Ca- no, it's not. Do you think that he took. You think that was appropriate? What song was that? Yeah, you know the song. That's the intro. You oh, think. I ain't listening to the intro. You think I it just was appropriate. Do you, do you think it was appropriate that your father took Troy Reed to the site, knowing that Rich Porter has a family, knowing that he has children, knowing that he has, that has his sister, you know, alive? Do you think that was appropriate? Honestly. I wouldn't have did it. I don't know what his situation was and what they did. I don't know what that's for. So that means you think it's not appropriate. I don't think that's appropriate. No, I wouldn't have did that. Okay. But I did do a video at somebody's gravesite before, so I could kind of understand his frustration. Your father told me on the phone, do you remember what your father said to me on the phone about Rich Porter, the type of guy he was? Yeah. What did he say? He said that he wasn't a good guy. Like He was basically like a grimy dude just like him. He's the same type of person. And he said that you know Rich Porter did something that he said that he stole from him. Basically, he said, yo, as you can see in the movie, right, AZ gets shot. They're sitting there telling him, hand over the connect, right? AZ hands over the connect to Rich because that's more like family to him. So the connect gives Rich a certain amount of keys for him and Alpo. Rich, allegedly, because I wasn't there, allegedly spent half, flushed half of it, 
did what he had to do. And in the middle of that, his brother got snatched. So what he had left, he went to pole with it. Like, yo, help me with this. You know, you're in D.C. You could get it. You could get it three times the amount. I need to pay the ransom. And I guess Poe wasn't jacking it because he knew those bricks belong to him. Poe allegedly spoke to the Connect. The Connect told him, yo, check the stamps on the work. If it got this on it, that's the work I sent him for y'all. So it's been 30 and 30 apiece. So that's just allegedly what And happened. do you think that's, I'm asking you a hard question. Do you think that's any reason for a man to lose his life? That they're supposed I mean, to be friends. Because your father told me on the phone that he only knew him for a certain amount of yeah, years. Yeah, he didn't really know him. He knew him for like a year or two. He said two years. Yeah, well, that's I, I, what I'm saying. Know. The movie didn't say that. Exactly. So at the end of the day, you know, there's no way to make it better. There's no mm -hmm. good way to look at it because there's a murder involved. There's a Understood. family involved. Understood. There's people being affected by it. Understood. But it's the same thing like how people keep going on the internet and saying, pull this, pull this, pull that. Paul ain't come to the internet yet. He didn't. He didn't come to the internet yet. He doesn't have the desire to. He doesn't even want to. He's in a club. He's running around Harlem. He's dating girls. He's doing whatever he wanted to do. And taking pictures with people. Yeah, yes. every time he's, he find, winds up in the media, he's just like, oh, here we go again. Who's the, who's the, the clown talking now? How do you feel about King Erna? I feel like King Erna is like a lot of people. They false prophet. Like, he's a false prophet. He's idolizing. Like, he's making himself look like he's a, um, how you say that? A righteous brother just to sell CMOS. <laughs> it's a market it's a marketing strategy. He clicked up with the dudes. He clicked up with these dudes, right, that he didn't even grow up with, leak most of them, right? To ride they wave because they man just went to jail. How do you know about that? You don't know that. That's not true. Yeah. You don't know if that's true or not. You're not from Philly to you. Bro, listen, that. they listen, they was both sitting in the same seat. They would have told you if they grew up from the sandbox. But you can't. But you. But what you're doing though, you are I'm doing the same thing he's doing. You're assuming. I'm doing the same thing he's doing. He assumes that I'm a rat because of what somebody else did. You ain't see no paperwork on me. But they did say you. They, uh, Where's they the paperwork? Later. There's no paperwork. I didn't Look see it any up. paperwork. My name is Randy Harvey. My DIN number is 6 r four zero seven. I didn't see any paperwork. I just told you. What I'm saying is that he goes hard on you. Pause. Exactly. He's a fan. And, all right. But He's a you, fan. But you spoke to me on the phone with your yes. father. Let's let's get down to why I stopped talking to you for a while. Yeah. Spoke to me on the phone with your father. Let's talk about our history. Doing great, man. Mm -hmm. Little rusty. Little rusty. What's right. rusty? No, no, no. I was talking about something else. My fault. So you just had it. See, that's another thing. Like, where's the respect that you? Nah, that's my man. My fault, bro. I like him too. But I just wanted to make sure he was all right. You know, this is his first he time even. Yeah, being, but he feel good. He's good. Yeah, I was just checking on him. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's all right. Just being a good friend. That's all right. right. I'll let you finish. My fault, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> so. No, I got locked up with my cousin J.O. for a gun charge. <coughs> I was on the island for a day and a half. Cons brought down some items for J.O. and I. Cons, you know, brought down like a pack of noodles, uh, chips, and, uh, milk and stuff like that. So, you came down there. We saw you. Um, came down there, showed J.O. love. He said, yo, it's my cousin Flint. You showed me love. Then I gave somebody my milk because I didn't want it. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't want that. Yeah. Then you came and said, yo, 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 somebody took your milk. I'm like, nah, I'm good. What you talking about? Like, I'm all right. I'm like, all right. You started getting loud. Like, I'm going to hold you. In, you know. He was like, yo. I said, nobody took my milk. I gave it to him because I don't want it. I don't drink milk. Mm -hmm. When I don't eat that stuff, so I gave it to them. He said, yo, you, you want that? Yeah, I... I well, I'm not gonna keep it there. J.O. Mm -hmm. don't drink me, you know, that, that much neither. So, but you came down there and said, Yo, anybody mess with you, I got you. My man calls, you know, I bailed out the next day anyway. But anyway, from then I always appreciated the fact <coughs> that you did that. Mm -hmm. So, you call me on the phone with Alpo. I have a 30 minute conversation. I didn't record the conversation except for a certain part when I asked permission mm -hmm. from, from, from him. I said, I would like to record this. You called me about King Erna coming to the studio, yes? Yeah. Then you asked me, Poe said, yo, Flip, you want to come up there and I want to slap him. Yeah. I said, yo, you can't slap in my studio because you need a password to get upstairs. And on top of that, I like those dudes. That's what I said. Yeah, that's fine. I like him. I like Leek Moss. They're respectful to me. And I cannot allow y'all to do that. Your father <coughs> said, what would you want me to do? I said, just chill. I will be up there. I'll correct it. I will speak to him about it because I really don't agree all the way with him keep attacking you. But I'll speak to him about it. This is what I told you. Remember that. Right. 
Okay. Now, you gave me your word that you wouldn't come to the studio. You or your father. Yes. Yes. So, apparently, King Erna came up here for on the line. Mm-hmm. King Erna went downstairs about four times because Ebok, my engineer, told me he had to let him upstairs four times. But the next day, uh, while I'm doing a live about the Alpo call and about you know the recording I played in front of King Erna, three in the morning, you text me a picture of of, of King Erna that you took while he was outside. Yes. Yes. And I feel like you disrespected me because you gave me a word you wouldn't come up here and you came up here and you could have put me in a position. You could have put yourself in a position. You could have put them in a position. You could have caused a domino effect. Facts. And that's why I felt the way. That's why I haven't spoken to you until yesterday. He didn't yesterday. do nothing, though. He didn't do nothing. Yeah, he didn't do nothing, but he still came up here. He could have this. I was across the street. I wasn't even but on you still, He still gave me his word. You're, you're, a man is, a person has nothing and, but his and word. I, and I stuck to my word. I was on somebody else's property You said you wasn't going to come to the studio. And I how didn't did you come get to the, the address? How you got I'm the across the street. It's mad businesses across the street. I could have been at any one of those businesses. No, you came to the studio. It's, you took a picture of him. No, I was across the street. You got it from my man Space Ghost at the time because he gave no, it No, yeah, you. I got the address from Space Ghost from when I was in Miami and I was supposed to fly back and do the show. Exactly. And the date was days. Exactly. Yeah. You feel that you feel that in your opinion, you feel that he wasn't wrong. But I'm saying that it put me in a position because you know what if something would have happened. That's my. I, I even said it. I told them I'm not. I can't let nobody attack Poe. I said it in front of them. They could. They'll yeah, tell you. So you're going off the what ifs though, because once oh. he sent the picture, you could have looked at it like, oh, this nigga Poe. But you ain't have to bring it to the world. It could have stepped right there. Like nah, niggas I, would, I thought that's why we have phones. Like, nobody would have supposed to be known. me and you talking, right? Off the strength. So if I send nothing. you something, it's supposed to be between would, us. But, but, but hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't think you was going to put it on air because that's the part. You're, you're a liar. <laughs> no, I didn't think you was going to put the picture on air. Don't gas your man. You know I'm erratic. You know you said No, I do, but I didn't honestly think you was going to immediately, once you get the picture, yo, Poe, yo, I ain't feeling that. Yo, I thought you was going to text me So you don't know me now. No, I thought you was going to text me that. Cause you was live and all types of stuff. I was exactly. Yeah, so I didn't think you was gonna dealing make with it emotions. No, I feel you. I respect you. Knew it. What you, like, you I can't didn't play know old you. Harlem no, oh, I wanted to ooh, show. Oh, puppet flip. master. Oh, let me send it. You know I was gonna say Yo, something. Yo, come on, bro. You hit me with the gaffle. Come man. on, nah. Come I on. hit you with the gaffle. <laughs> come on, man. Yeah. What gaffle I hit you with? That gaffle right there, yo. You know why you blew it up, man? Why I blew it up? Cause you was excited. You was like, you just, ooh, he's electricity down his body. <laughs> yo, I can't believe he's out. He was outside. He played me. That's how you felt, right? And I didn't even mean it that way. I, I was I was yeah, you was upset. I was but upset. I didn't mean yeah, it that yeah. Way. I, who, why would I be upset? No, no, no. I get you it. I just didn't word. think you was Yo, gonna say it on air. Mm. I didn't. Think Hi, I was live it. when you sent it to me. So I'm a, I'm on my phone like this on live. Yeah. So you paparazzi poll talk about you. Ding. I look at it. King Ernest outside saying, Poe, you're wild. You just sent me a picture. You was outside. Now, you knew what you, you knew I, I was going to say that. that. You G-Money, knew what you, you were doing. doing. You've been on the internet I, for a long uh, time, man. I don't know. I might have. Anybody who knows me. <laughs> I might have. Because the truth is the truth, and that's what we do. You were outside. I, 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 hate what you, I hate what you're saying. Technically, you weren't in the building. You weren't, you weren't in front of the building. You were across the street yeah. or whatever. I, I get it. But like, I, I hate what he's saying. At the same time, if. Yeah, I know how that's. I, I know you're saying whatever, but if something was to happen. Who does it fall on? It's going to go into flip. Facts. And it, it, it could possibly seem like he set it up a little bit. You That's know what I'm saying? Fact. So now it's like, oh, now King Ernest going to be like, yo, Flip, you got me coming way out here to come do the show. And you got these dudes. You let him come over here to your, to your, your business, place of business, and then let this happen. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The thing about it, I was honest with him and his father. Who? Um, me. Oh, oh, so, okay. I told him yeah. how I felt. I didn't say, yo, y'all going to do I said, I like these guys. Mm-hmm. Chill. I was honest. I was a man. I said, yo, <laughs> yo, Poe, for me, don't do that. I asked you that. I said, don't do that for me. I like these dudes. And I can't watch. And I told them right here. I can't watch nobody do nothing to Poe. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't do that. And I told you. I said, I can't watch. I, you're putting me in a bad position. I told you this on the phone. So you what heard would, the sincerity in my voice. What was your intentions? Come, came out here for? I this. wanted to send him a message and let him know that I could touch him whenever I want. Okay. Like, I wanted to <laughs> let him know that it's really like that. Like, I would pull up on you for real. Like, mm. I just changed my life. So take that pass. And then he called him out on the one on, and you ain't jacked that. And I see if they fight one on one, shit might go somewhere. Like you feel me? Like it can go somewhere. So why not just shoot the one on one, sponsor it, do some other shit like that, and it's over with? Because oh, can't curse. Yeah, like why you niggas can't fight one on one? <laughs> Why they can't fight one on one, nigga? Nah, you know what my angle was with that though, G Money. On a positive tip, mm-hmm. I wanted to show the world that it's alright. If you have a misunderstanding, to just knuckle up and that's it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to bring that back. Just like 
people don't even say the word like no more. People don't tell the girls, yo, I like you. Everybody just say love now. Mm. It's like a lot of stuff that I grew up on is not the same no more. So I kind of wanted to be the so, front man. So you're trying, the you're person. Bring you back. I wanted to be the first artist to say, you know what? I ain't with the gunplay. I just want to fight. And just let the people know, like, it's a right to fight, bro. You don't got to. You know that's I mean? kind of tough, though, because on, on, the, on, the, on the other side of the scale, if they're not on the same wave as you. Obviously, they wasn't. That's why it didn't happen. I okay. drove off with a stomachache. <laughs> <laughs> Why he taunted me the whole night. Mm. Oh, you said nuts. you said to me, you said something to me, yo, Flip, why you letting King Erna come on a platform and do that? That's what you said to me, right? Yeah, because when since I called when anybody up, could tell me what to do. No, I never told you I'm, I'm trying to tell you what to do. I asked you why. It was just a question. Since when I, I, can because I, I, when I, can't I called you, up, I can't tell you what to do, can no, I? No, 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 look, when I can called I? up and I said, yo, let's fight, you said, no, nah, we're not doing that on my show, but you because let him go in on me for three hours. No, no, it's you not let, true. You I let him talk I, about I, me for three hours. I checked him as well. Don't say I didn't yeah, check him. but it's still on air. So you still, you still so you promoting wanted me, it. You wanted me to you take it down. No, I ain't want you to take it down. I just did want you to tell him the same thing when he started talking crazy. I didn't tell him to chill? I mean, he was talking about me the whole night. Did you watch it? Yes, did you of watch course the rebroadcast? I, I was right downstairs. I watched it from the car. And you trying to say your Queens flip did not tell King? No, Erna you to told share. them it, but you like shut me completely down. Because like, you're over the phone. Yeah, it's true. I'm having more. Came upstairs, huh? Well, you sure you couldn't get upstairs. But right. uh, uh, another thing I want to say is that you saying that why I'm letting them. I can't like at the end of the day. One thing about me, I let my uh, relationships and my friendships be known from the gate. That's you know what I'm saying I'm very honest. So. You know, I feel like everybody deserves a time to talk, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I, I don't, I, I do agree with you with certain aspects, but I did tell them, you know, you're mm -hmm. chill and to my best power. At the end of the day, we're doing a show, and That's if right. you was up here, I'm not telling you to, you, you know, yeah, you, yeah, but so much you can raise, yeah, yeah especially you're saying. if you deal with me. On you know, you say what you say, and, and it is, it is what it is. You know, so it we is both was wrong. Flip, come on, be a man. I'm a man. I'm sorry, y'all. No, I'm sorry to flip the script. Quiet room behind the scenes. Everything y'all got going on. I'm sorry, bro. Yo, it's 2020, man. I just stuck my head in some holy water, and I'm just chilling now, yo. You know what I'm saying? Z Trying to change, man. It's close. It's getting close. I'm going to chill. Yo, so how you feel about, um, I'm pretty sure you heard about my son. Yeah, Omar. yeah, I know him. How you feel about him? Well, I, from my understanding, we cool now. You cool? Yo, you know it's crazy? As soon as I seen my son, I said, I got to be next. <laughs> like, I swear to God, I went on YouTube uh, two hours ago, right? I was in the living room when you left. Mm -hmm. And I looked at it, I seen new flip the script. I think it came out like two days ago or yesterday, something like that. Because it comes up, I'm subscribed, you know what I'm saying? So Appreciate it you. come up on my, yo, know, all the new stuff, you know what I'm saying, that y'all post. So, so you got yeah, my son. That was acting like you was, yeah. you was doing mm -hmm. clown shit, though. He, he shouted you out? I don't know. I ain't watching. Nah, he's saying some other shit. <laughs> exactly. What are you talking about? You be doing clown shit. He was trying to just flip the script. That's what he was doing. He dissed uh, me. That's what he was doing. He's a clown for dissing me. That's what he was doing. He's a so. legend, bro. He's all the way over there. He came mm -hmm. all the way back to the hood to diss me. Yo, those type of trick theories are whack. Uh, it's not whack. Legend. He came back to the Yo, hood. Yo, you know who my son is? He's a, a rapper that I actually used to like. I had one favorite my son rhyme. Mm. Right, and then he went to jail, and that was what? just it. The, the, the hand, the gunny, the gun. In my yeah, head. lefty gun up in my right palm. Yeah, that's why I was a my song fan when he was a rapper. Now he's an activist. But well, what does he do? What he doing? He 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 still. Um, he came back out of retirement rapidist. to diss me. Then that didn't work out for him. Now what he did? He he, he doing some positive stuff now. And actually, me and Funk Flex spoke about this, and Flex spoke to him, and so to my knowledge, we cool, we alright. Like, so what's this song then? He dissed me. You go look at it on the internet. A, di a diss song, my right? Song I, diss I yes, him. yes. My song diss paparazzi post. Yes. Then I asked him. He said no song. So YouTube. He's a liar. He's on the roof in the video. Off the, off the, off the um, the the Mark Deep beat. Dun, 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 dun. I dissed him back too. Flex told me to take it down. He said, Yo, yo, yo y'all going dead, that. And my verse was hot. My, why my, everybody my hate you? Why everybody hate you though? Bro? Him? You know, he was, he was, he was d riding. Some young kids from his area that I used to have problems with also. He ain't have nothing to do with it. He just jumped out the window. I ain't understand. I posted a video of me putting the Louis bubble in, in the trunk. Mm -hmm. And he's like ranting, ranting, ranting. Like, oh, how's Funk Flex playing Alpo Sun music? But he won't play Wayne Perry Sun music. And I'm like, what? Then he did a whole interview on Funk Flex talking about Alpo. And I'm just like, all right, cool. Like. I don't understand, but the part that why you playing Outpost Sun music instead of Wayne Perry Sun is like 
Does Wayne Perry son rap? Hmm. Did he put in as much work as me? You know how long I've been in that game? So Did my cousin mean? bring you in the game, J.O.? Yeah, J.O. was the first person to bring me in the game. He, like, signed me while I was in jail. I was M-Stars <laughs> when they was M-Stars. I was G-Unit Dumb Outs. I was wow. whatever J.O. was, 50-50... Um, BMF Switch Gang. I was everything he was, and then he stopped rapping. So I, I, I had to keep moving. He fell back for a little while. You know what I'm saying? So I just keep. I took what he told me. I kept moving. Hmm. Shout out to Jo. Yeah, we met Man. in jail. They, he was like the nicest Shout rapper in my jail. And I was hmm. talking to somebody about. Being a rapper when I came home, and there's like, oh, my man is lit. He about to sign a G unit, all this other stuff. And they brought me to the library, and I rapped for him. And he was just like, oh, that's what's up. I'm like, yo, what you, what you think he is, yo? I spilled one of my best rhymes, too. <laughs> he like looking at me like, yo, like he wasn't even impressed. I'm like, yo, who is this dude? I was with Carolina Blue, another kid from Southside, in A1, and jail was in C1. Then they moved me to C1, so now me and jail in the same house. So, you know, he's showing me pictures, everything, telling me about the whole West Side Merit movement and, you know, how many people he rapped with and, you know what I'm saying, all of that. I'm telling him my experience of being around rappers and, you know, the whole battling and all that other stuff. And he's like, yo, all right, when we get out, I got you. So when he got out, he was with Maserati Fox. He, I called, I did a freestyle for Mazi. He said, yo, you dumb outs. So I was in jail jacking dumb outs. I came home, Tone Bird and J.O. picked me up. For me, with Pop Jones, Drop Top Bentley, brought me to Queens. Um, we did an interview with the One TV, and we shot a video with Blue Da Vinci. That's where it started right there. Mm. That was like my first time ever being on camera. I was behind the scenes, like in people videos when I was younger, like Party Artie, you know what I'm saying? Up and coming rappers, but that was my first time, like, jail, like, yo, this is my man, Pop Rossi Polio, da da da. And I'm on camera talking my talk, like, yeah, you know. You know, my mermaid on, like, fresh out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you already know. You know, so that's how I came in. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't like people looking at me. Hold on, take my look. It makes me hot. You know when you feel somebody looking at you, it make you hot? Make me hot. Take your time. No, it's cool. Go ahead, bro. I'm waiting on you. <clears throat> nah, take your time. Take your jacket off. No, it's cool. It's cool. I wait on you. No, it's good, bro. You don't gotta. I can talk. Yo. You alright? I'm good. I said something wrong. No, no, you're not. I'm still cursing. I'm, 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 no, no, I'm actually so still cursing. I'm, I'm good actually, on the cursing, right? I'm actually right? impressed. I'm actually impressed. You're good, yeah, you're good. chilling, bro. Um, so tell us. Hmm. Tell us about your childhood real quick. Let's let's back up a little bit. How far back? As far as I can remember or yeah. like rap wise? As far back as I can remember. Now take us back to, you know, you you growing up. I could probably remember as far as back to like four or five, maybe. Mm -hmm. Five, I could say. I that's little, when your pop that's when your your dad would he, when I was four. He left in like nineteen ninety one. I was born in eighty seven. So so you so you you home with your mom? Yeah. Who yeah. else who else um, in the household? Um Everybody, the whole hood. The whole hood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my mom's, she was like one of the first bloods, you know what I'm saying, in New York. Like when they first hit New York in the 90s, mm -hmm. that was her thing. So I was outside, man, really. So when you say everybody in your crib, like your, your brothers and sisters, your friends? My brothers and sisters and everybody who's in the lobby of the building. Like everybody. They, was, they they all stay with you? For the most part, yeah. They ain't never have to go home. You know how, you know what I'm saying, how it used to be. Mm -hmm. We used, where did, to leave, we used to leave the door open. Huh? Where did you grow up at? Harlem first, and I moved to the Bronx for a little while, for like five years. Mm. Lived in Webster Projects. <sighs> on 6 9 I lived did, everywhere, though. I lived everywhere, but that was like where my mom was living at the time. <laughs> Type shit, right? When did you realize your mom was one of the first blood bloodettes and like that, that like, whole... Like fifth grade? Like fifth grade, I was like, you know how like after you come from the yard, you got to do downtime? And... Everybody got their head down, and I was like, I got up to look out the window, and I seen like fifty people all dressed in red. And this was like around the time where they're like, oh, if you wear red, you gonna get cut. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you're not blood, and you wear red, you gonna get cut. So I see all the blood, so I'm nervous. I'm like, oh, like yo, what's going on? I went outside. It was my mom's and friends picking me up. 
That's how I knew. How did you feel when you saw that? It was nothing. As long as I could play my game and do what I do, I ain't, ain't bother me. So how many people was in the household, though? How many siblings do you have? I, it's my older brother, Ronald. It's me, Randy. Then I got twin brothers under me, Rodney and Randall. Then I got a little sister named Monique. Another little sister named Unique. Another brother named Nas. So it's like seven of us, plus my moms and her friends. Or whoever she just let stay there at the time. Because she used to be, like, harboring all the lowest girls. Hmm. Like, she was like mama. Like, she was taking girls off the street, cleaning them up. A big mama. I mean, yeah, like, just taking them in. She took in the whole hood, bro. Like, anybody, like, that she messed with. She was cool with or she was cool with their moms or something. They grew up in my house. What's your mom do? Is she... she I wish she had to work or something because a lot yeah, of y'all now. No, she was just gangbanging. They took care of her. She was like the queen. Uh-huh. She still don't got to do nothing. Yeah, she still in the hood. She still don't got to do nothing. Mm. Like, you know, she said she good. Like, she always been good. Like, she worked, I mean, behind the scenes. She had a few jobs, but she out on, like, um, like an injury right now. So, so when did your stepfather come in? At what age? Um, I guess he came in, like, I, as far as I can remember him was probably a year, like around five. I don't know if he was there before that, but when I was like five, he was there. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was my pops. And what age did you have a fight with him? 14. Bring us back to that day. All right, my mom used to cheat on him all the time because, you know what I'm saying, he used to be getting locked up and stuff. So he came home from jail unexpected one day, and we didn't know he was home. My mom was up the block with a new boyfriend, and I was in the crib dolo with my girlfriend at the time. He knocked on the door, man, hard. Like, what's up? What the fuck is that? I think it's the police. So I go to the door, it's him. So I open the door. Yo, what's up? Hey, where your mother at? Where your mother at? I'm like, yo, what do you mean? Now, at this time, I'm already a gangster. So I'm like, why are you asking for my mom's like that? Like, what you mean? Like, you sounding hostile. Like, like you looking for her on some, on some Ike Turner type stuff. You know what I'm saying? He like, yo, da, 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 da. You know, he being mad aggressive. So he calling my mom, she not answering. So he's like, yo, you lying. You know where she at. So I'm like, even if I knew where she at, I wouldn't tell you. So he pushed me. And when he pushed me, I was just like, I was kind of scared of something because he used to box. He was mad big. He just came home. But like, I ain't really like, I wasn't really like trying to keep going through this one. So I hit him. Luckily for me, he stumbled. So I tried to keep swinging. But, you know, he washed me up after that. Then he tried to throw me out the window. But it was like a tree because I was on the fourth floor. There was no bars on one of my windows that was close to a tree. That's how I used to sneak out. I used to just jump on the tree and slide down. But... He tried to throw me out the window, but I had, like, my hands on the tree. So I was, like, pushing back. And then the, my girlfriend, she called the police. So, you know what I'm saying? He let me go, and I was like, yo. Like, now I'm looking at him like, all right, cool. Like, we had a fight, but damn, like, you trying to throw me out the window? And that's when he was like, yo, you're not my effing son anyway. Like, he walked out the door. So at that point, he was just, he was fooled to me after that. Like, mm. Can't come around no more. My mom's son can't come around no more. <clears throat> you, you, are you the oldest? Second oldest. So, did you ever see him again after that? Yeah. He got all protection against me. Still to his day. Why? Because, you know, I chased him down. Got a menacing charge for that. I was little. Chased him down? At what age? This was 15. Chased him down where? In the projects. Same projects. He came there and my mom's had a fight. My mom's tried to get to the knife. He knocked her out and know what I did after that. Mm. Got him up out of there. See you later. Call the house phone. <laughs> mm. Shit, me. You gotta let them know it's two. It's paparazzi Poe and it's young Poe. Yeah, like paparazzi people don't even know po, that that's the same person, but that's where we at now. Yeah, like yeah, niggas yeah. doing the right thing. Niggas out the streets. We most hated. We get that. But when it was young Poe and he was young Poe. Mm. It wasn't really none of that, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, like it wasn't. There really, was no social media. None of we that. met in jail, you feel me? When I met him, we was in adolescence. OTs, everybody in the jail used to go crazy for him. So niggas knew that Poe was ratting back then. And you feel me? Saying he nothing. ran the jail. He ran the jail. Mm. Him. Yeah, like everybody like don't years, like him because he went against the grain. Like he could be one of the top, whatever everybody else is right now. But he on a different wave, and he been like that since oh five oh six, and it just been like that, like. Yeah, so now that we transitioning over to the music, he got wild music. But it's so cool to hate him. That niggas yeah, like that's even, the cool thing. Like it's an I hate poll committee. Just like when niggas was walking yeah. in Rikers Island, it was the cool thing to like him. So it was 
sending him, everybody sending his booking, they booking case to him. Yo, pull us to the crib. You feel me? He running around like niggas was praising him. So yeah. now to see how everybody just come for him because of what another nigga did, because he hard, he, he hard is he hardcore. Mm. He put work in, he put pain in, he ran jails, and he never followed what everybody else was doing. I always did my own thing. So now that we on to this music shit, that's why we just, we, we doing what we do. We don't even want the love. We don't care about none of that shit. He ain't rat. Ain't no black and black and white on him. We good with that. Now, as far as with Poe, he out here in the street. All y'all doing is giving, y'all keeping his name that. alive by having whole interviews. But that's what I'm trying to say. Usually they pick on you or they try to bully you when the person is dead or away. Mm. But he's actually home and outside. So it's like, why y'all coming to me about it? Niggas is mm. on the big and better like, like thing. You got to dress him. He's right there. He's Facts. outside all the time. Facts. You being afraid of him? Of or, course. Or, or, or afraid to address him? Yes. Yes. Yeah, he's like the nicest guy I ever met. I heard. Flip spoke to him. I heard, yeah, I heard. He's, he's like the, he's too. the most respectful person in the world, so it's like, for him to do something to you, you had to do something. Like, I, you don't get that vibe from him, Flip? How, how did he sound to you? Like, not, you know, you ain't really gonna speak to him much, but 30 minute conversation, how, what, what kind of impression minutes. did you get? I said 30, but it was 45. Um, yeah, something like that. But what kind of impression you got from him? You think he was like a wise guy? You think he was like- No, he was respectful to you. Yeah, humble. Yeah, he was respectful. I don't know if that's just how he carry himself now, but if no, I ain't, I didn't hear nothing otherwise before. I, I, real quick, how did you catch your first case that you went to spa for? What age you went to spa for the first time? Nineteen ninety nine. Um, I was in seventh grade, and I just turned blood. I cut somebody. Hmm. Cut somebody where? On their face. Where were you in school? Nah, after school. Tell us what happened. I um it was some older dudes that I look I kinda looked up to at the time. You know, they was blood, so you know, I wanted to hang out with them. So, you know, I just stuck around them for a little while. Long story short, you know, I asked them to be blood. They was like, yo, you gotta eat somebody food. I said, Alright, cool. Who y'all don't like? Say, yo, it's a Latin King kid in the bilingual class. You know what I'm saying? Meet us in the gym after school, I'm gonna wait for him to come in, do him. I waited behind the door, snuck him. That's my first time. Did your mom ever like uh, talk to you about the blood stuff or influence you anyway? Like growing up or try to? She nah, she didn't. She didn't talk to me about it, but she used to be like, "Yo, do the b-hop, yo, put your flag on, yo." You know what I'm saying? Mm. Do, do this gang sign. You know, it was cute. I was a little kid. I knew how to dance. I used to be in the middle, and everybody, hey, you know, I was yeah, her yeah. son. So she dressed me up with the bandana and. Tell me do the Harlem Shake and all that. You know so you was in that video, if you blood, throw it up. If you blood, throw it up. Blah, 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 blah. You remember that video? Yeah, I wasn't in that video. No. Oh, I know you wasn't. <laughs> you remember that video, though? What, the Young Bloods? Will you give a damn going throw it up? No, there's a video on YouTube, okay. if you blood, throw it up. The sure OG Mac video? Nah. <laughs> nah, because those are the kind of people I was around. I don't know about these new bloods. Mm. Hold on, let me see. I know uh, all the old ones. How's your mom feel when you when you when you turn blood? What's up? What's up? What's up? I don't think she issue? wanted me to be. That's what I just... <laughs> nah, I don't know. Nah, that's like a Vine video, right? I think that's like some How many Vine views that shit got? Five billion. Really? Who's the Who's the artist? I don't know. It sound like Bingham Smurf or something. Watch your mom. <laughs> No. <laughs> this came from, this, this oh, yeah, came from, from Queens, my bad. This came from 2000. This was out 2006. Oh, okay. I was locked up. Yeah. yeah. So, so you cut somebody. So they told on you. How did you get caught? Put, put, put the mic oh. closer to you. Oh, all right. Um, how I got caught? Um, yeah, basically, yeah. He told. Yeah, okay. he basically told his mother, and then his mother came to the school. Oh, okay. And then they came and grabbed me out of my class. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's how everybody knew. And you went, you went to Spafford. Yeah, 1221 Spafford Avenue. It's called Bridges. How long were you in there for? Mm, maybe like a week. They let me out. It was my first case. I was young. So what did you do in order to get to... What was what was your longest bid that you did? Like all, like six years straight. Now what did you do to get six years? I shot a couple of people. They jumped my friend. You know they, Charlie Rock? Kid from the shot caller. Talk, your voice keep getting low and high. And nah, low. Charlie Rock, the kid. That, was, that did the song Shot Caller. Chris Montana song. Yeah. What about him? He, uh, we, we was like 
best friends at the time. You don't have to touch the mic. Just I, was, I don't know. I felt like it was moving. Yeah, no. Nah. But like, um, we used to get there every day at that time, and he had got jumped by some dudes, and uh, he he wasn't in the, in the position physically to retaliate, so I retaliated for him. That's right. We was all YGs. It was like mandatory. How did you get caught? Uh, the kid, one of the kids that sh I got shot to. I mean, one of the kids that I shot to. You gotta tell you, came to Harlem. That's when. You yeah, that was when they had my post on the on the uh, um 16th, 15th, yeah. and 7th at the chicken place. How many people got shot? Four. And somebody told on you. Yeah, one of them. The others stood up tall. I guess they ain't come to court. I ain't never seen them in court. I copped out anyway. So for six years. Yeah. So they offered me like eight and a half to twenty five, then nine. They offered me at like ten times. Then they did something like uh, it's called a pre-pleading memorandum where they interview your teachers, any centers you ever been to. They you know they go get references from everybody in your community, anybody who ever, you know, juvenile counselors, mm. and they came up with a presentation. Then they gave me a six year off, a five year offer, but then I had a gun charge pending, so I took five and one consecutive. So now <coughs> you, you do that, you, you get six years. Facts. And you joined Bloods when you was out in the town. Yeah, I was already blood ready. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> we'll get into the act, the act, the um, good stuff. How did you get cut? Um, you skipped I, the whole part. That's the end of the bit. Yeah, yeah, that's the end of the bit. But um, well, I mean, what I mean, what did he do? I mean, nah, he would. I right, boom. You know how you've been on the island before. I don't know if you're familiar with the program. You know the program. Yes. All right. So he was a dude that was with it. You know, like when you with the program, like a day room, day room. No, that's why everybody say the word day room. Yeah. That's a jail terminology for people who have to sit in plastic chairs in front of the TV and they're not allowed to talk, eat, do nothing unless you say. Oh, so. on the iron too. Yeah. The oh, the iron, iron bench. Dish, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're not allowed to do nothing without my permission. He was one of those dudes. So you was running the house in uh, uh, I ran every house I was in. I was the first one. I'm lying. I was the first blood to live in the crib house. I was the first person to win 16 fights straight. I did not lose. One man. This is where my name comes from. I went from being the first blood to live in the crib house. Like, I was actually living there. Like, I ended up running that house. You know what I'm saying? To every other house I went to after that, because that was the worst house. So I felt in my heart, like, if I could run this house, any house I go to is mine. And that's what I did. Now, how you end up running the crib house? Because, I right, boom. It was a crib there that was there for attempted murder. He ended up beating his case. And, you know, me and him was cool. But he left the house to my another friend of mine named Twist. And then Twist went up north, so he left the crib to me. That's how. That's you how. You gotta I got tell them how you beat all of how, how. No, yeah, I told them the sixteen fights. That's yeah, how I that's got on the team. He, yeah. There's something called the team. It's somebody that runs the day room. Then, like these, are the levels. Person that runs the day room. He's the person who's in charge of policing all the people on the iron horse, right? Mm -hmm. Then it's somebody above him, like four people above him, and it's called the team. These are people who have a little bit more privileges than that guy. They get to lock out. Yeah, they get to stay out when everybody's in their cell. They get to use the phone a little bit more. They get extra snacks and, you know, they work in a pantry, whatever. Like, they got privileges. And then it's the person who runs the house. That's the levels. The, the runner, the team, and then the day room runner. He's like the slave master with the whip. Right? And then it's them. But he was one of those kids. And, like, I used to be one of those people, like, if I miss a visit, I'll get mad. And I'll be like, yo, get on the wall. And I'll smack him, kick him, do whatever I want to do. And he just go sit back down. Every blood nigga that was going to one main was getting killed. Yeah, like, like I was killed. the first one to really like he come went out to of one there main with my seven jeans on, beat with my Air Max on, thermal with the cars. Like I still got my clothes, I still got my jewelry. I'm hollering at my men's on the yard. Yo, they like we you, went to you jail together. Boy, I went to I went to Mall through Yapa. Yeah, we came and, in jail the same day. They, they sent him to one main. For me, I thought five it was over. Six. But that nigga, next time I spoke to him out the window, he was on the team. Next time I saw the nigga in the corridor, he had the crib. And then it was over after <coughs> I followed that, suit. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> that was 2005 winter. Yeah. So basically, you was handed down the crib. The first See, one. That's why the I first told one. No, yeah, the first one. Yeah, the first one. Nah. I, I fought to get on the team, and then the person who had the house was my friend already. But if yeah. you wouldn't have fought to get on the team, Dump wouldn't have been able to exactly. give you the crib. Exactly. He can't give so you the crib unless you're you the crib. His weight was up to 
you know? You, you I was fought, next in line, yeah. You fought 16 people. Straight. One day. I didn't go to school that day. They locked me in. They sent everybody to school. They kept only certain people to stay to fight me. And that was all the most popular Crips because I was like a popular blood. They had like these Crips called War or Diggy from Queens. That's from Woodside. Mm -hmm. Right? They had another dude named... Um, C.I. Um, C.I. They had another dude named Donovan Huffrose. Like what they call him again? Duck Low? Yeah, Duck Low. Um, sure. It was... Um, like all the famous Crips, like Shells, like um, Scar, Scar um, like all the, all the most popular tough Crips was all in that one house because that was the only one house Crips could live in. The jail was predominantly blood. Mm -hmm. So, so you, you fought sixteen guys that one day. Yeah. How much? How much? You time, have to. How much time you got punched in the face? I don't remember. But you I won. Locked, though. Yeah, I won every fight, or else I'd have been sitting on the iron with the rest of them. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can I please get some water? This was run by police. Yeah, this like the officers old. beating you up. Like, the, like that's the difference. See, you got to get handed down the crib because you have to be voted by the police. It's not like I could beat you up and take it from you. That it wasn't even possible not in that man. house. Or my three upper. Yeah. Those is called police cribs where no matter if you tougher than him, if they like him more, he got the house. That's the difference. Every other house, except for like three upper, it was ran by the Spanish people. Five lower is ran by the Spanish people. Like, Certain officers operated that way and certain didn't. So you'll go to a house where they don't operate that way and the inmates straight run the house. Then you go to a house where if the police don't like you, you still can't run the house. I don't care how tough you are. Bottom line, we ran in jail. Yeah, like, like you know, I had three main. Casanova had more three upper than B-Mac. Had more three upper. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> then had, all right, so you did all that. Yeah, that ran was just... House. Was how long you ran the house for? Well, one main? Yeah. Mm, like a month and a half, probably. Cause he was it was multiple houses after that. It was the whole adolescence after yeah, that. Yeah, like, I went to every house for the most part. And then Cause when you you know you pop it off, they pack you up, send you to another house. Take over. Go to the box, come back, you go to another house. Then you went to up north. Yeah, I went up north 06. But you didn't run up north though. Yes, I did. Mm. I ran the Green Correctional Facility for three years. three years and nine months straight. Mm. From 06, September mm. to December 09. And who can verify that you ran it? Me. Everybody who but was yeah, there. You was man. You was no, man. No, 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 no. Everybody. I, I asked Casanova. Ask Big B's. Ask anybody in the industry, ASAP Rocky, that been to prison in that time frame. Well, that Rocky was not in prison. He was on the island, though. Know. He know about it. He heard about it. That little it. one jail story, you got to stop. That no, but I'm just saying, like, like, he jail was in time. jail, though. Like, for me... <laughs> he, he all the people... Right <laughs> no, all the people that <laughs> been in Cass, jail. Cass, no. Yeah. Cass, no. Brass two, Brass two times. Like dudes that's Hello. still outside right now. Like so, there was like, nobody above you. You saying? Well, no. in Green? Yeah. No. No. It was it was YGs and the Brooklyn Goon Squad. Squad. That's who ran the jail. Not Bloods, Crips, Muslims. None of that. We ain't none of that. You was from Harlem and the Bronx. Harlem and the Bronx. You was with us. Brooklyn and Queens. There was Goon with, Squad. With, with, got you. Got you. With got Mac you. and Drew yeah, and all Mac, Gully, Gully from the style, yeah. all the Sheeny. Sheeny. Oh, salute, yeah. salute to them. Salute, yeah. to, them. salute to them. Yeah. Facts. So so. You ran the house, you ran You ran Green for three years. Yeah, you was in Green with him as well? Yeah, they call it Gun Town. That was like a jail for YGs. How much fights you had in Green? He was like getting, four. He not was getting, much. Not much. I didn't really have to do too much. And why you have four fights? Because I State actually, yeah, right? I actually, no, no, I fought one dude from the star in, in, in H1. Mm. And me and half jumped him. You know, half a Billy, two Billy brother. <laughs> me and half jumped him. It was over some blood and YG stuff. It was like some YG and blood beef going this on. Nigga in jail. was a star in jail. Like, <laughs> what made him a star though? Niggas was what fly. What I was wearing. It was everything. The girls that was coming to see me. All the chains I had on. I had all this on in jail. The bag. Yeah. Things you getting... some paparazzi poke at the time. Yes. That's My name was came born. from the CO in 06. Paparazzi poke. Yeah, where the name Poe came from? Huh? Where the name Poe came from? Because Sean Poe. Because I was GKB when I first turned blood, and Sean Poe was like the most gangster Brooklyn blood nigga. Well, you know, person. Yeah, so you always play Sean Poe, Sean Poe. So, you know, I used to get the Cincinnati Reds fitted. You know what I'm saying? Who's My Sean Poe? Where is he? Sean? He's in Bad this country, Bad boy, right? Sean. Oh, that's Sean? Yeah, yeah. Sean Poe. He was blood? He was I thought he was. He was, he was G-Sean. You seen the That's Gangster video yeah. from Sean? I thought he was blood. He was G Sean, and he was, right? one of his favorite rappers at the time was, was Sean, Sean Poe. Poe. So I called myself so, Sean Poe. You know, how that's everybody that's G Sean. So, but, but people like Sean Poe. Was he was he respected? Yeah. yeah. 
Sean? Do, do, you don't know Sean? I know Sean. He's oh, in Belize. Okay. I know. I know. Yeah, him. yeah. I mean, he I thought way. he was. He sounded like he was tough. And he influenced me. In okay, got you. So you called yourself Paparazzi Poe. No. I called myself Sean, Sean Poe because I was G Sean. So why they give you paparazzi? Because people taking pictures of you? Because I was like the most talked about person in jail. Oh my God. Bro, <laughs> yo. See, yo, yo, everybody used to be like, again? yo, you see, yo, <laughs> again, bro. bro, everybody used to be like, yo, you see what he got again? on his feet? Again, again in the corner. He ain't got no way. All right. He ain't got no doubt. <laughs> Ask about it. Let's just be honest. I had a lot of Let's rapper chicks. Let's just be real. Rapper no, I don't got, no, 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 no. You can't help me down. A lot of rapper down. chicks come in to visit me. I never, let me tell you something. I never Shut forget them. how hype you was for me. Like, you always, you used to pause. Don't, don't, I wasn't don't. fly, though. I ain't have the same yeah, stuff they had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you stuck in my mind. You're like, yo, who yeah. took your milk? I'm like, who took yeah. my milk? <laughs> <laughs> I had you. threw me all the way. I said, I gave it to him. Yeah, the true religion <laughs> antique era. Yeah, yeah, you was mm. fine. Red monkeys and all that. So, hold on. So, did anybody know you was Alpo's son at the time? Yes, my close friends. So, was, so that wasn't going around in this gym. Yeah, it was. It was. Old yeah, niggas used to be like, yo, that's that's that's, that's Alpo son right there. Like, we'd yeah. be on the vision floor, niggas would be whispering. People would just be staring at me, and I ain't know why. They was talking about me, my girl. Yo, why is everybody looking at you? How, How good was the girls that was coming to see you? How did they look? How good they look? They had all the bitches. You didn't see my baby mothers? Mm-hmm. No. Fire. Who's I got fire? straight heat. How many straight you got? Heat. I got two baby mothers right now. Oh, yeah. How, can, you, can, we, can I verify? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, thank you. Let's yeah. take our time now. Um, you get my phone. It's, it's plugged up out there. I like to verify this. Yeah, so yeah, I got mm-hmm. one brown skin and one um, light skin. Yeah, I, 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 that's right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. good. I like to verify this. No, no problem. No I like problem. his confidence, man. No G chill, G. I, li- I, I like his confidence. Close, G. I Yo, bro, I, I make history. You hold your leg like that, G? <laughs> I don't want to throw it out. I make history. I let you see it, let you feel it, let you taste it. Then I talk about it. G chill, G chill, G. No homo. G chill, G. Hold on. I think it's the Harlem's. They're different, man. You start like that. You start like this. I just, ah, that's it. Let's go ahead, man. Take your time. No, I don't got to take my time. It's right here. Um... <coughs> oh. Wait, wait, go back, go back, go back, go, 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 go. I, I messed up. <laughs> you want to make sure? Okay, where's she from? All right, cool. Now let's see the second one. <laughs> <laughs> This is this be good because he's right here. It's closer. G chair, G. Yeah. <laughs> G, I, 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 I lie. Ain't nice. <coughs> I don't really got too many pictures of her. It's been a while, but I feel like I can take. I just gotta make sure, like you know. No, it's all good. It's all good. I, I want you to see. Yeah. Thank you. That's the other one. Oh. Yeah. Get your oh, oh, okay. Hold on, hold on. Come back. Come back. Get your yeah, yeah. Back. Come back. Oh. Okay. That, that, was, that was a lot, bro. I mean, yeah, I got heat, bro. You cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he get your power, G. He get your power, G. He don't get power. Oh. Oh, he was right there. G. That was too. That's, I got some heat, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. That's what it was looking like on the dance floor every week. <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? That's another one. They, Louis, Fendi, crazy. I'm Gucci. I'm got all the phones, all the Jordans before they come out. Like, mm. so how to, did you get cut, though? I, oh, and we, right, after you boy, got cut, did I got you cut in the any, shower. Did you lose any type of credibility when you got cut? Honestly. I mean, they tried it. That was like when the trolling started. Because it was some people saying I ain't do nothing after I got cut. Some people said but I you did. You gotta tell them how you got cut. All right, so look, boom. This is how I got cut, right? <laughs> I'm, I don't mind. I'm doing push ups, right? Dips, all that bullshit. Get on the phone, go. get in the shower. Now I'm in the shower talking my talk because I'm about to go home soon. Yeah, I'm going to go home. I'm going to hit this chick, this chick, this chick. Yo, she got a little soup money. Yo, she on. I'm um, loving hip. I mean, not loving hip hop. Um, Sweet Sixteen. Yo, I'm trying to go after all the popular chicks, and I'm bragging to my friends because I know I could get them. I had them already. Mm-hmm. So I start washing my hair, and the soap had got in my eyes. So I asked my man that was next to me, like, "Yo, pass me a towel." And when the towel fell on my arm, like on my shoulder, son just pulled his arm back. So I ain't think nothing of it. You feel me? Because he hit me with a scalpel. It's like a number eleven. You literally don't have to put no pressure. You just gotta. And your whole leg will open up. You feel me? So he threw the towel on me, like, on some, and backed up, and then it ripped my whole face open. So now, when the, when the soap trickled down into my cut, it started burning. I'm like, mm. yo. So I take the towel and start damping it, damping my eyes, you know what I'm saying? 
I feel it burn. I'm like, yo, I put the towel on it. It got stuck. Like, all of this is happening in like a 30 second moment. I'm saying it slow, but it was fast. It was like, oh, I knew that I was cut. Boom. I looked around, everybody was going. I'm like, nah. Because the fill house is like this, right? This is the wall. It's like this tall. The showers is hanging like this. So I'm standing backwards to the wall, which is this short. And what's on the other side of this wall is benches where you can play chess and a whole big basketball court. Workout benches, everything. So somebody could literally just walk by and snuff you over the wall. Hmm. Like, it's that easy. Son just took the opportunity where he see me reaching for the towel and he just hit me and passed the towel like on my shoulder. So I just grabbed it, started damping my eyes and then I felt it burning. I'm like, oh shit. Turned around, nobody was there. Threw my stuff on, ran out, went straight to the blood table, popped it off. Cause I knew it had to be one of them. Took it to my Yeah, that's how it happened. Mm. Gangster. <clears throat> my fault, bro. That's how it happened though. They snuck me. You see the cut? It's from my mouth to my ear. So why did he cut you? Why did he say Because I used to bully him in adolescence. He was one of the people sitting on the iron. Like, remember I told you, like, say a girl tell me, room, say a girl tell me, yo, she coming to see me and she don't come. Now I'm tight. Now I just want to take it out on somebody. Yo, stand up. The niggas was beating that niggas, but that nigga went up north, got, got his shit up. He big, yo, bro. It and was five whole years later. He got mad tall. Yo, Africa is mad tall. That's the person that cut me. So all these people that say they cut me, lies. A tall brown skinned kid from Brooklyn who has 20 years to life cut my face. I, I ain't been cutting all the time. Cause niggas was beating him on the Yeah, island. I used to just bully him, you know? But he got his weight up, I'm not. Yeah. yeah, but I saw didn't recognize him. You remember, we in the adolescence, we all 16, 17, or 18, right? Mm -hmm. We go up north, five years later, now he's 22. He been up north already for five years. His weight is up. He got that good air. He sprouted. Like, you know, we in them stages as teenagers where we could get tall, fat, bro. You know what I'm saying? He sprouted. I ain't recognize him. Like, I ain't even recognize him. Oh, like, you got to tell him how to when you was on the floor. Yeah, check it, right? Well, you right, right? Check it, right? <laughs> After I popped it off, they jumped me. Boom. Now I get cuffed, I'm laying on the floor. Some walk by me like, yo, Poe. So I'm tight. I'm just trying to like keep my face off the floor because it's bleeding, it's wide open. So I'm like cuffed and I got my head like this. And he like, yo, Poe. So I look, I'm like, yo, what's up? He's like, yo, you don't remember me? I'm like, nah. Where I know you from? He like, bro, you don't remember me? I'm like, no, bro. Like, where I know you from? He like, that's crazy. Yeah, but you tough though, my nigga. Like, I ain't think you was gonna pop it off. He just walked off. But I didn't know him, his name, nothing at the time. So when I went to the box, I went I went to the visit floor while I was in the box and it was like mad important people on the visit floor that ran to jail. So I told them like, yo, listen, if y'all don't tell me who cut me, I'm gonna I'm have my men's run down on the bus on 161st and stop all y'all visits in this jail. There won't be no bag, no nothing in this jail, going, no visits, nothing. I'm going to send my mans to hold all the vans up. Tell me who cut me. They, like 17 letters slid under my cell that night. They told me who he was, why he did it, everything. That's how I found out who did it. I didn't even know who cut me at first. Mad people be saying they cut me. And when you got the stitches? It. Same day? 200 in and out. Same day though, right? Yeah, yeah. Like six hours later. Because they interrogated me for mad hours and I didn't want to tell on them. So they wasn't trying to give me medical attention right away. So what happened to them after? Nothing. Nah, I mean, after that, I, I went to something called Involuntary Protective Custody. It's like IPC? Yeah, you go to IPC, then they ship me off to Upstate. So I went to Upstate, like Upstate Box, they kept me on quarantine, then they put me in Upstate Cadre. That's like population. Like, you know what I'm saying? I went home from there. But the thing changed for you because you got cut and they started looking at you like a herb. Nah, I just had to put it in a little bit more. Everybody get it. If you're really in the field, you're going to get touched. That actually solidified me, and the girls like it, so it actually helped me. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Girls tell me, ooh, that scar is sexy. I'd be like, what? Letty, let me take a picture on this side. Ooh, I just want to lick your scar. I'd be like, do your thing, baby. <laughs> nah, it, he helped me, bro. I know he be tight, like, because he got to hear me on the radio and then mixtapes, all that. Like, I know he be tight. Like, damn, it ain't even affect son. Son still that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you come after you get cut, you get cut, get the stitches. Yeah, I, you come home. What you do when you come home? J O J O J. You nah, know. I jump straight on tour like with Charlie Rock and P Diddy and all them. Cause Shaw Corner like went crazy. It went number one as soon as I came home. And then what happened with you and Charlie Rock? Charlie Rock was like, 
Charlie Rock, me and Charlie Rock, we had we've been best friends for a long time, and we had a little bull, bull crap, like minor discrepancies. You know, friends go at it. Mm -hmm. Then when he got like lit, he was like kind of like giving me the vibe like he didn't want me there. And I don't know if it was me or, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know better because you was around. He was giving me the vibe like he didn't want me there. Saying certain stuff, I was taking it personal. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, you know, I'm going to just distance myself and try to do my own thing. So J.O. was, I called J.O. He sent DJ Martian to come get me. Martian dropped me off to, um, I think, Dunkirk's. Or I forgot where the video she was at. And we did, we did the one TV interview right there. Wow. So you and Charlie Rock don't speak still? Nah, he's locked up. But I would like to speak to him. Like, I locked up for what? Him. <laughs> I think attempted murder. <coughs> Trying to like cut somebody's head off with a machete or something like that. Okay. Okay. Um, Don't quote me on that. I think that's just what I heard. I, but I know for a fact he got a lot of time. You know, shout out to Charlie Rock. Mm. Free him. It's my brother. Cardi B. We made history together. Let's Sorry. talk about Cardi B. <coughs> okay. You want, some, you, you want some more water? Um, I finished my water? I don't even think I finished my water. Thank you. You're welcome. Off camera, you, you told me that you, you and her were good friends or still good friends now? Yeah, we was, like, really, really close friends, like, for, for like, three years straight. Where'd you meet her at? Um, the first time I met her was back in the days, like, when I used to hang out at High Bridge. I used to sell candy. I had, like, a crew up there. And, you know, we was all blood, and, you know, we always used to be together. So she was, like, one of the ch chicks that I used to be, you know, talking crazy to everybody in the hood. Mm. You know, the hood, the hood loved her. They never let nobody touch her. She could talk crazy to anybody. You know those girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You my man, nigga. Blah, blah, blah. Like, she was one of those. Like, she roast you. Like, yo, uh, Jordan's just fake. Uh. Like, she was one of those. She was dumb funny. How'd you and her get close, though? Um, She started dancing, and I started rapping. So we was in the clubs a lot together. Mm. And then um, a, some dude I used to be cool with or whatever, he was interested in her, like, because she was lit, like, on the gram. And he was, like, one of those dudes who, like, lit girls. So like, yo, what's up with your sis? So I like, yo, I put the word in. So we went to Suze, I introduced them. They started dating. Then he went to jail, so I was like always with her after that, just making sure she was all right. You know what I'm saying? So you never try to try to get with her, try to talk to her, try to Yeah, like real long ago though. Mm. Like I ain't never say nothing, but I was thinking about it. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't never say nothing. So you and her just was I got cool, she so she after that she she moved on doing the music stuff. Yeah, she wasn't doing music yet. She was, like, funny on Instagram. Then Bobby Schmurder reposted her because she said shmoney, like, mm -hmm. in one of her videos. Schmurder reposted her, and then she started hosting parties and just, you know, talking on the mic, being funny. And I would perform. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Any party she hosted, I performed there. But she, she that was our you, formula. So she bring you with her? or Yeah, bo both. Vice, vice versa. versa. If I had a book in, you know what I'm saying? I used to do um, bookings with some guy named Hollywood Chuck in Queens at this club called Lit. I know game. the whole show, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then dude named um Game Game something Game the game, game Nights. Game Nights. I promoted name Game Nights. Yeah, he used to book me all the time because I used to blow a lot of bread. So mm. he paid me a thousand dollars in three bottles. I bring my whole hood out with Bust the Bag. Mm. Cardi was my friend, so we had to throw all the bag on her. You know what I'm saying? Like right, right. whoever she bring with her type. Well, so we so you and her still cool now? You still talk to her? I mean, you know, briefly, but you know, she's married. She got a baby. Congratulations to her. You know what I'm saying? I respect that. I mean, you can speak on camera about about how you guys kind of, like, behind the scene you told me that you you and her yeah. were cool to a certain point, and then yeah, at, um, at some point you got kind of like, you're still good, but not yeah. as close as before. Um, The situation was like, it was a misunderstanding on both sides. Like, basically, I did an interview with this guy named Zach TV, who was a real good friend of mine. Rest in peace. He passed away. Oh, wow. Like, he was like a... Um, he had a platform or whatever he believed in me so I did an interview with him and she FaceTimed me during the interview mm -hmm. and she what we was talking about it was not supposed to be on air mm -hmm. and he put it in the interview like just to show how close we were mm -hmm. that was his intentions but the stuff we was talking about wasn't appropriate to be on camera so she called me furious like yo time take it down He and he was like procrastinating like oh I can't I gotta get home and wait till I get to my laptop and it started going viral on Twitter. Like, it was going viral. And she was calling me like, yo, tell him take it down, take it down. I'm calling him like, yo, take it down, take it down, take it down. He finally took it down, but the damage was already done. Mm. Yeah, so she was mad at me for that. She thought I crossed her. 
What was said on, on the that's, video? No, nah, yeah, that's what she... No, it, it was just... Like, it was her asking me about her ex, but she was dating Offset at the time, so it didn't look good. It was mm. like I was... It, it kind of looked like I was exploiting her. You know what I'm saying? But that was not my intentions. I didn't... I thought a private conversation is supposed to get cut out. Right. Like, if I if, if I get a call right now, you'd be like, nah, we could take a five-minute break, take that call. I'm not thinking you're going to take that footage and put it in your interview. Mm. I don't have nothing to do with that edit. Right. You understand? So when it came out, I was like, ah, uh, like, I didn't really get to listen to it because I got locked up with a gun. So all this is happening while I'm in jail, and I come home to it. Like, everybody got a camera in my face like, yo, I'm like, yo, what happened? I just bailed out of jail for a gun. That's it. Mm. No, yo, we heard this. We heard that. And I'm like, what are you talking about? The interview, uh, all that. It was just bogus. So that that, that was kind of like strike one. Nah, that was it was that was over. It was one like, shot deal. One, one shot deal. I never have no strikes. We was best friends. I couldn't do no wrong. Mm. And I know she know in her heart that I didn't intentionally do that. Right. But I never did an interview and cleared it up. So she thought that I was letting it linger for my own, you know, publicity. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> right with Star Brim. She thought I was a guy. She thought I was gaffling her. Me, uh, Star Brim basically just jumped in that beef defending Cardi, and then me and her just started doing the internet thing. Mm. Like, it, it was really no problem with me and Star Brim. What type of internet thing? Nah, we was just dissing each other, you know, putting clown faces on each other's pictures and, you know, unfollowed each other, you know, regular stuff. <laughs> yeah, going live, arguing, you know. Okay. So Are you cool up. now or nah? Yeah, when she came home, I spoke to her. We was good. She asked me, like, yo, you still got a problem with me? I'm like, nah, bro, how do I... I have a problem with a girl. She like, nah, can I keep hearing stuff? I'm like, oh, but nah, it's not that. You was robbed in Brooklyn. Yeah. What happened? Um, I was going like to support, you know, somebody that I was doing music with at the time. <clears throat> and um, I guess the older dudes from his block was like, nah, he ain't leaving here with all that jewelry on. We taking that. And he was like a little person in his hood, so he couldn't stop it. And that's how that happened. How did they rob you? Uh, I, they I came over, tape. like, tape. Tape. all right, boom, so. You saw it? Nah. No, no, no. Nah, they, they don't want to put out the footage because I look too tough getting robbed. Like, it wouldn't have worked out for them. But basically, I'm in the projects, kicking it, talking, boom. A dude that they got beef with, unbeknownst to me, FaceTimes me from the feds, Jeezy Moolah. Me and him was keeping in contact. He had a phone, you know what I'm saying? So he calling me. So when they noticed I'm talking to him, they asked me, like, yo, that's your man? So I'm like, yeah, that's my man. Like, you know, I fuck with him OD. But I don't know they got beef. They got this Wu Cho beef in Brooklyn. Mm. And, you know, it's like GDs and Crips beef with each other. Or GDs and Bloods, like, you know, different areas. So they're like, yo, that's your man like that. Like, you know, like you, you mess with him hard body. Like, I'm like, yeah, that's my man. He's like, all right. So he walked off. He was on the phone. I'm chilling, rolling up. And I see, like, two people with masks walking up. But they're not walking towards me. They're walking past me. So I ain't paying no mind. I'm like, in Brooklyn, like, like, they probably about to go do something. So I tell son, like, yo, what's up with them? So he like, nah, they good, those my mans. And he said they names. So um, I see like two, three more people walk by with masks. So now I'm like, nah, nah, this is suspect. So I stand up a little bit, but I'm still not trying to give him the impression like I'm scared or I'm nervous. So I'm not leaving, because my pride is telling me like, I can't look soft. I don't want to appear to be soft, and then they'll really do you mm -hmm. in. You understand what I'm saying? Like, if you show any signs of weakness, oh, they're going to take advantage. So I'm like, damn, how do I get up out of here without letting them get next to me? So I start calling my mans that I was with. They was parked in the parking lot waiting for me. Yo, y'all back in the parking lot? Because they went to go get some food. They're like, nah, we're not back yet. So I'm like, damn. So I got to find a way to get myself out the projects without looking like I want to leave. So they... All bust like a U-turn real fast and start all walking towards me. But for me, like, one of them didn't have a mask. So he woke up to me like, yo, what's good? No, I said, I said, yo, what's good? Because I know him. I said, yo, what's up, bro? He said, you know what's up. So I'm like, what you mean? He hit me with the gun. Boom. So I'm like, yo, you serious? I'm dead serious. Take it off. No, I'm not taking nothing off. Take it off. They hit me, hit me. Boom. Take it off, take it off. I'm not taking nothing off. It's 80, y'all. One of y'all put the gun down and take it. I'm not going to take it off for you. You understand what I'm saying? You want it, you take it. So, you know, they, they had me in there. They're trying to get it off. They're trying to get it off, popping, whatever they could get off me. And they walked me out the projects. Like, 
Don't ever come back out here. You're not good out here. They walked you or whooped you out? They walked me out the projects. <laughs> you said walk. Yeah, they walked me out the projects. Yeah. Came back, my book bag told me, yo, that's the way. All right, cool. I got you. I'll see y'all soon. What projects was this? Uh, Ebbets Fields, Brooklyn. They said the chains were fake. Was was fake? Nah, not mine. Hold but on, it was on. other people who got robbed too. But they never said nothing about them because they not like lit like me. Like one of them is a rapper. And he used to be lit, and then, and that's my man too. You know what I'm saying? He's still doing his thing. But the other two, one is an up and coming rapper, and the other one wasn't a rapper. It was actually four of us. Like as they was robbing me, they mans went to check if my mans was in the parking lot, and my mans was, and they robbed them too. It was like a forty minute robbery altogether. So they took like, mad people jewelry, but they put jewelry next to them, my ID and said all of it was mine. They took your ID? They took everything. Did anything happen to those guys that they robbed you or no? Who? Which one? It was a lot of them. The ones that robbed you, anything happen to those guys? No, just yes. one of them. That's how I know of. That's all I, I only know. I oh, was one of them. Like, something happened to them, as far as my knowledge. Did you get the chain back? Uh, I got the main one back, the one that meant the most to me. Went back over there myself and got it. Paid for it? It was like a symbol. It's my man that passed away, Drew Hef. He gave me his chain before he died. So I told him, like, I'm coming to get that piece. I don't care what y'all do with the rest of it. Get that back, and this is dead. You paid for it? No. I don't know if I believe this story. <laughs> Look it There's up. A, it's footage. It's footage. Look it up. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't see the footage, though. There ain't no footage. No, they ain't have time to pull out a camera. So why they said there's footage, then? Where is it? I don't know. Actually, why did they say? Well, I didn't they see gonna, the Why do they say all the things they say? <laughs> <laughs> I can't answer that. I like this guy, man. Um, like people just say anything. What situation with what you were, um, you know, on back in the days, you said you had a situation with um, A Boogie's people, High Bridge. <laughs> All right, my friend that I was talking about that gave me the chain, he got into a fight with them and he passed away. Them talking about eight yeah. boogies t- people, not not eight boogie though. Yeah, but like you know, the older dudes from his school. You said something about you getting shot. That was after. Tell that us about after. that. Um, what the first time, second time, what time you talking about? The, you got shot in the head. You said that was um twenty. 20- 14 summer, I was on the corner buying e-pills, and somebody ran up on me from behind, hit me in my head. Hit you in the head? Yeah. Or shot you in the head? Yeah. Like a piece of it still in there. So how you know it was his people? How did I know it was them? Mm. Uh, subliminal records. So you were shot in the head? Yeah. Interesting. Sub- subliminal records, word of mouth. I got family from the area, you know. It's not really hard to find out who did what. Mm. It's a song he got out that, that you that you uh, told me behind the scenes. It's, oh, it's a record that he got yeah. out. He, you, you say he mentioned your name and yeah, he said paparazzi. That's the you know, paparazzi. That's the police. If you look on the internet, they, that was like everybody's favorite line. Everybody that don't like me, they was you making told police. Did you, did you tell? Huh? Why they called you police? They just, Put that down, man. Make a noise in the mic. I'm he sorry. said, "Why did they call me police?" He said, "Paparazzi. That's the police, right?" Yeah, that's what they said. That's what he play said. on the word, though. I mean, you know how paparazzi be taking pictures and yeah, his name is paparazzi. He did so. take pictures of King Ern outside. <laughs> yeah, I, I threw guess, that. I guess I'm a photographer. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So, his people. But my name is Paparazzi Poe because I make memories. There's a difference. I don't just take pictures. Respect. I, 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 you know I mean, what I'm saying? I, I, I'm a legend, bro. Living legend, though. And I ain't never you know, do nothing wrong. If I like the cold, I'm still here. Salute. On a positive note. You know what I'm saying? Why they said you snitched in Wagner Projects? Not Wagner. Webster. Webster. Pardon me. I had no. Webster. Sorry. Not Webster. Basically, um, when I was young, there was a dude that I used to hang with. Got into an altercation with another dude that I hung with. They got into it. And my rest in peace, my man Ripper passed away. And um, the street said that it was because it makes noise. Yeah, the street said that like basically like like I set him up or something like that, right? They was trying to blame somebody, so um, I was trying to you know tell him like I have nothing to do with it. 
But the kid who shot him was also my friend. So I got caught out there going to court for him because he's telling me he's innocent. He didn't do it. But he's lying and saying, yo, my lawyer said that you made a statement. I'm like, how am I going to make a statement? I wasn't there. I don't even know it. And then how can I make a statement? You told me you didn't do it. So my statement would have been that you didn't do it, not that you did it. So it was just speculating. I was coming to court to clear my name. He went to trial. He blew. And my name got cleared. But they said that you told. So he said that you told? Yeah, he, he said that, yeah. He said that in the beginning of his bid. That you told him? He said his lawyer said he got a statement from me. I said, well, show it to me. He never showed it to me. I went with the trial, everything he blew, and then we looked at his minutes. It wasn't in there. So where's it at? So how much time does he have? 20 years. So how did they know that he killed the kid? Um, I, They said that they found the gun in his house. Inside a bucket of bleach or some stupid shit. I don't know. You gotta look it up. My man's name is Kevin Cherry. It happened February twenty second, two thousand and five. Hmm. So you gotta look it up and I guess in the article they'll tell you how they came up to that verdict. Your man name is Kevin But Cherry. I know it was one dude that did take the stand on him that was there. And I think that's why he blew. I know one of the dudes that took the stand on him. I don't know who else was involved. I don't know the specifics. Your man then that got that, that okay, who, your man that passed away, your man that My man my wait, say that again? Wait, who name is Kevin Cherry? That's my man that passed away. Kevin Cherry. Yes, that's Ripper the Brim. Rest in peace, Ripper. That's who turned me blood when I was young. Interesting. Um, I don't I don't find it. Oh, I found it. Yes. Let's say I've got it. February 8th, 2005? Yes. I thought it was February 22nd, but I might be wrong. No, yeah, February 20th. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. See, yeah, yeah I know it was wasn't was He died in the hospital. So. Oh, the okay. incident happened on the 20th, but he died on the 22nd. So, and then also, there was an incident where you got stabbed in Queens. You got whooped. Yeah. I saw the footage. Yeah. yeah. But you, I, you see me pop it off though, right? You don't know too many people who gonna pop it off when sixty people in front of them. I mean, Jo did it. I did it myself. What? Sixty yeah. people? I, but it wasn't sixty in that no, video. No, you did. You wanna count it? There's a lot of people in the video. You wanna count it? It wasn't. 60, it was like Club Perlu. Um, per yeah, said, that's right? why they closed it down. That's how Angels opened up. Really? Yes. You started a lot of trends, man. Yeah. I mean, you, we're not trends, but you. you I you, opened. I closed Perlu and opened up Angels. Tell us what happened, man. <laughs> what happened with what? What the, the day? Put your phone out. Tell us what happened. Bye, bro. Bro. All right, so this guy named Cheddar the Connect comes from Texas. He's in um, the engine room. I was getting a song mixed there. That's the who seen that. Look at the figure there is. Yeah, uh, got I, you. I, I was doing a, um, a mastering session there, and he was there recording. And we, you know, we rub shoulders. We start talking. We got a little bit cool during the session. And he took me with him to 105 to go see DJ Clue. He had to do an interview. Then he was booked in Starless that night. We went to Starless, and while we in Starless, it's like 2.30. Hollywood Chuck calls me and is like, yo, if you could get something to come over here, I got a bag for you. All right, cool. I go over there, but we like though. We like six deep. Mm -hmm. Club is lit, you know. We we get situated, we get some bottles, we get some singles, we chilling. Um, My old CEO, when I was Piffing it, had beef with a dude from the neighborhood over his wife or whatever, so. They spot each other. They start looking at each other funny. I, I peep the vibe, so I try to stop it. I say, yo, I'm cool with this dude, and you my CEO. I'm going to go in the bathroom and holler at this dude, squash it, and we're going to party, get our money, go home. He said, all right, cool. So I go in the bathroom, I told the kid, yo, we're not in that type of time we doing music. He said, cool. When we came back, son tried to approach my man, who he actually had the problem with, and said, yo, I just spoke to Poe. This is his dad. My man flipped, like, ain't shit, dad. It's dead with you and Pope, but it ain't never dead with me and you. So his mans that he was with heard that. So they did like a call, and they start stacking, and the whole club ended up in front of my VIP, like literally everybody. So I'm looking. But, you know, after, I'm, I'm tough, so I don't care, whatever. I'm like, damn, man, it's a lot of people. So they like yelling across the gate, so we arguing back and forth. Because he like, yo, your man talking about it's not dead, so what's up? I'm like, yeah, it's whatever y'all want to do. His man threw a bottle and hit me. Boom. I'm like, oh, I stumbled. My hat fall off. I picked my hat up, tuck my jewelry, run, popped it off down. They just, like, an ant farm. Killed us for, like, hmm. 20 minutes. 
beat me with chairs, tables, the hookah, bottles, stabbing me, dragging me. Like, yeah. Shaft saved my life. Remember, so, um, Shaft? So who? He's a manager, Shaft. He manages her celebrity, he manages, he used to manage Cardi. Word, Shaft, yo. How he saved your life? He was in the dressing room with the girls, and the girls told him, like, yo, that's Poe getting jumped out there. He went out there and helped me. Shout out to Shaft. Word, shout out to Shaft, KSR, bro. So I'm forever loyal to Shaft, like, like, word. He's the only one that helped me. Like, my mans ran on me and all that. Wow. That's why I wasn't with that label no more. Who got their chain to? Um, Cheddar to Connect. They took his chain and then my man called P. Gutter. And then P. Gutter called the Crips from Harlem, got the chain back, and they returned it. Shout out to P. Gutter. Yeah, shout out to P. Gutter, Free Gutter. Yeah, tell word. us about him. How, how, he, he was, a, who was he, he just was like one of the pop, one of the most popping Crips in my era in jail. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was a stand-up dude. Like, he was one of them Crips that never folded his, you know what I'm saying? Wherever he went, he was Crip. Like, there ain't too many of those. Uh -huh. And he put in massive work on people who actually have a name. So, you know what I'm saying? He amongst what? the elite, like me. What's like, his we're name? all one generation. His name P. Gutter? P. Gutter, yeah. Okay. From the 9. I think he's from the 9. Something like that. She is 9. So your man's ran on you. Who, man, who ran on you? Um... Not me. One of the CEOs on the label. He said, not me. <laughs> one of the CEOs that was on the label. Um, another flunky that he had with him that I think he like a manager now. And cameraman, a DJ, Cheddar to Connect, and Cheddar's manager. All them there. Except for Cheddar, he couldn't run. They used to jump at him too. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> else ran. Some hid in the bathroom, some hid in the, the girls' dressing room. They wanted them shines. Yeah, they wanted that them chains, but I was smart. I tucked mine before I even popped. Where you got stabbed at? On oh, my back. You see it? Nah. They popped the C in my back. Really? Yeah. They stabbed me and then twisted me. Hey, they did it. Yeah, they did. It's like this. Let me see. <laughs> wow. See it? Right there, I'm back. I see. It's like on my lung. I see. Yeah. Cause I felt it like it went through my leather jacket. I had like a biker jacket on, and it went through my coat and then twisted it. Like if you look at the video, like, I'm like oh, it's getting, it's getting crazy. Did anybody get arrested from that? Uh yeah, I think Talking I got mic. arrested. Talking to Mike. I got arrested. Talking to Mike. My fault. I got arrested. One of the security from the club got arrested, and why like, the security from the club got arrested? Cause uh, at one point in time of the fight, he actually tried to help me, but I didn't see him. Like he was fighting, you know, we were fighting so many people. You know? I didn't even know until we was in the precinct in Queens. They had us all in the bullpen. Why would they arrest you? Because I was on the run from parole at the time. Like I stabbed, they went to the hospital, they found out who I was, I uh -huh. got cuffed to the bench. You got yeah. arrested, who else got, anybody get arrested for the stabbings though? Yeah, one of the dudes, but I mean, he didn't even do it. He was just the only one they caught. Like, they're trying to lock as many of them up as they could. But they kind of was gone before the cops came. It was only a few. Sticking around, you know what I'm saying? Trying to do too much. Yeah, how many people got arrested again? I think just one crip or two, but... Nah, I only remember seeing one, some fat dude, and he didn't even do nothing to me. Like, he was like a herb. They singled him out. Security, me, him. A, a stripper got arrested because she had a warrant. Um, yeah. Where, I forgot her name, some <laughs> Dawson <and> shit. That's <laughs> crazy. Like, Wait, you know, what's it was that just mad like? random people. Perlou? Yeah, it's, it's like Perlou. about like a story, like in the story area. Yeah. Oh, okay. story I got area. stabbed by the Crips where? You got stabbed, huh? Remember I got stabbed, I got stabbed outside? They had said that it was from, it? It was from Ravenswood or something. You got stabbed. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When I called you and I was mad at you, bro. That was... Remember I got stabbed, I got stabbed. Okay, that, that was long... Chicken noodle soup came out. Yeah. Oh, word? Was yeah, that yeah, on, yeah. on Liberty or something like that? Yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was the same Crips. Is, that, is it the, the, the payback Crips? Where they was from? I don't know what's who. Ravenswood? Nah. The ones that did it to me was from like Ravenswood, some was from Staten Island, and the rest was from Harlem. Oh, uh, no, I got, no, oh, no okay, Roosevelt said, oh. Island, I'm sorry. No, I, got Island. I got stabbed by the Crips in, oh, from Rockaway, okay. Yeah, okay. You didn't hold on side. Oh, that's Perlou. Perlou. Oh, no, Perlou is about like Astoria. It's oh, okay. By, by all, the, all the Starless, all that in that area. Yeah. Everything's over there. They all like four minutes away from each other. Yeah, Starless, Perlou, Perfections, everything. Why are you bending the mic, bro? I don't know. I feel like I'm in the booth. Unbend the mic forward. <laughs> All right, how you want me to do it? Like this? Yeah, like leave, the, leave, leave it, leave it, leave it. All right, bet. 
That's but you know niggas is clout chasing. You can't shout out niggas' hoods because they're going to be like, yeah, you heard he said we stabbed him up, right? Yeah. <laughs> Nigga ain't even do it, but you yeah, shouting out Ravens. Who There's cares? always people who always talk. <laughs> the people who say That's something. how niggas get on. He know, That's what I'm saying. He, he know he know, he know what he talking about. There's always people. Yo, there's always people. That's that how act niggas like get on. Stuff. They claim shit that they ain't even do, but yeah. if from you help them connect so the dots, right. then mm-hmm. you're just as wrong. Some as people them. that people think is real. And, you know, they they, they say you got a fake coat. They did. Yeah, they say yeah. you got a fake coat. What's what's that like? Uh, it, it's a joke that never gets old. Cause it was like, not actually the coat. That's the joke. It was the picture I took with the coat on. Like it, it was a viral picture. It went viral. Wow. Explain the story, bro. Come That's on, the man. story. I, st- I took a picture. They started off teasing me because of how I took the picture. Then I was one person said, oh, that coat looks fake. It's too shiny. Then everybody was like, yeah, it's fake. It's too shiny. It's too shiny. It's too shiny. Bro, all my clothes are shiny, yo. Mm. I mean, you want to check if my coat is real? Nah, I checked it already. No, 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 no. You could you could um, type in when the serial you, numbers. When did you check his coat already? How, how you, how you, no, you already checked it earlier. Yo, you could just type in the serial numbers. That's on the tag, and it pops right up on your phone. Who does all that though? Like the really people city. on the CC show. You you, 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 you really gotta. CC. Yeah, people you know my bop. My you know boy. my bop. Yeah, people on the CC show. Be careful. Show. Like yo, you could literally <laughs> niggas. People literally like will walk up to you like yo with a diamond tester. Yo, going to the CC show like that's they too, just going crazy much. right now. That's too much, man. They doing a lot. Shout to CC. Shout to CC though. Yeah, they doing a lot. Shout to CC. Yeah, from the block. I got a lot of love for him. Yo, speaking of um setting trends and all that, you you told me uh like I said behind the scenes uh once again that. A lot of young artists. Got, of, got a tag on. The tag on still, yeah. yeah. I ain't popped the tag yet. Um, you said a lot of young artists kind of took took your swag, took your flow. Um, you couldn't really, you couldn't really uh, pinpoint it. Well, you couldn't really take full advantage of your style because you got locked up. Yeah, like basically, like the music that's hot right now mm-hmm. is music that I was doing like seven years ago, but nobody wanted to hear it. Why is that? I don't know. I guess it wasn't the time for it. Mm-hmm. It's ahead of my time. So 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 who who's who's potentially taking your your swag or your flow? Or? I mean the A flow, like the A A all that. I bring the A flow to New York. Mm. <laughs> well, I right, hold on, hold on. Yeah, look, you got this, a laptop in front of you, right? I love this guy. Mm. So much, What's the f- name the year that the A A came into the game? A, yeah, like you know, okay. A A A A. I'm just saying A period. The A flow. I don't what know what that year is. do you remember it? Like, I know somebody said A. Hey, Becoming popular. Hey, oh, hey, half a brick, okay. whole brick. Mm. Hey. OJ yeah. the Juice. OJ the Juice. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. And my favorite rapper is who? You said Gucci, Walker. Walker. Oh, okay, okay. Brick Squad Frenchie, that's my friend. Mm-hmm. Right, so you see where I got it from. Mm-hmm. Now, they went down south and blew up. I blew up here with that flow. Mm-hmm. 50 Guns was on the radio 2017. I seen, I, seen, I seen the video. Yeah. And I was saying A after every word, right? Mm-hmm. Sometimes A, A. Sometimes A, A, A. You know, boom, 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 boom. Like all of that, yeah. 2013, I can show it to you. You're dancing the video and all that. Do, do yeah, I showed you the videos. Right? Some, some of the dances. That whole sound, yeah, the dances you seen. Yeah, mm-hmm. you seen it right here years ago. Yeah. Are you sure? Because you know, on this show, people people really watch this joint and they, no, they they know what's going I mean, on. So they, you, they're gonna be in the comments. I'm not saying, saying he lying. Hold on, fuck that. He whether you saying they took your style or not. Talk about. I'm it. not really saying they took my style. I'm saying I'm the. You the, the first one. The style. You the first one started yeah, it. I'm in, the in New York. Okay. He the first when I was the first one to blow up off the floor. In 2014, niggas was doing drill music. He was doing drill music. Mm-hmm. He I don't rap. He do music. So right. what he basically trying to say is, he been on the wave. You feel what I'm saying? So now that it's coming back around to most people you might not know that he been on that. This mm-hmm. nigga yeah. been on Gucci. He been on all that shit. So, you know, yeah, that's why he just back for his like, spot. A lot you of stuff you it. see right now, like I'm saying, even putting mad people in the video with the red. And the bandanas, all that, mm-hmm. that whole look, like that red bars look. See, everybody start doing that after that. Mm. Six yeah, nine. Bro, I just showed you a video of 2006 where they had red on, bro. Stop. So it. what? It wasn't that popular. That song wasn't on the radio. <laughs> that song has five million views. That's boy. what's up. Red bars did eight million in a day. I don't know. So this is new generation. I said I'm the sensei wait, wait, wait. for the new generation. Mm. Cardi B is the new generation. She's the face of it. She's the biggest artist in the world right now from coming from my hood. What's the fact? That's the new generation. So, we blew up at the same time. She just blew past me. That's it. 
So you feel like they saw your videos and heard your songs and, and took your yeah, swag? Yeah, yes. I mean, I, I don't think they just took it. I think, like, same way how I got my style from somebody. Right, right. I was a person that they was listening to. You know, I was on both radio stations. I was at every club. Mm. I, you know what I'm saying? I moved around. So, so if, if someone was to ask them and they say no, then they, they'd be lying. Yeah, just like it was a kid, right? No disrespect to him, but he has a name like mine, right? It's two of them, actually. Mm -hmm. They got paparazzi something as their name, right? And everybody that was locked up with me and one of the particular people knew for a fact he stole my name because he admitted it in the box. Mm -hmm. But he just came home before me. Now, the other person, he's a young kid, and he calls himself paparazzi something, and he did an interview, and they asked him, yo, so where you get the name from? He's like... Oh, I named myself that when I was in jail. And I'm like, he was looking at my interview. He said the same thing I said. Mm -hmm. What's the odds of that? Mm -hmm. But he said he gave himself that name in jail. Right. I don't know too many people who do that. <laughs> Either your friend give you a name, the officers give you a name, or a big homie of yours gives you a name. Right. You what's the, what's the like CEO that. that gave you that name? Yeah, Miss Cortez. She was a female. She was from like Fort Greene, I think. Or Miss Cortez. I ain't saying you lying. I'm just asking no, questions. Cool. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm asking the question to, to see I'm what the people going to say when they comment. Because they're going to comment. Yeah, they're gonna I'm, say, I'm, say, I'm saying he's lying. They're going to say that. They're going to say what Flip say, but you seen the evidence. I, I saw the I videos. I showed you the dates of the times of the songs yeah. when they was out. I saw the views too. Yeah. You know what views, views kind of crazy. I was doing shows. I did six tours. You know what I'm saying? What do you think he got me on tour for? I was on Waterboy. Mm. Good. I can't get two in one show. I don't think you was a water boy. I never no, you was I'm just out. saying, I, but I, that's I, what I'm I would, saying. You I would, my man, I would, yo, I would, just look I, it up. I, I would just play you like that say you was a water just boy. Just look me up. Just look it up. You're going to see. The same music you're hearing right now with the same producers that they're using right now, I've been using them. Mm. And and you can find footage of me and all the artists who copied my flow talking to each other. Like, you can see I was messing with them before y'all was. Mm. Like, before the city got behind them, mm -hmm. you seen they came through me. Like... I'm like the Gucci man from my young era. Like, my era, I'm the Gucci man. Mm. Like, everybody came through me that's lit right now. Some type of way. It's like probably this many people who didn't. And it's not that many people hot in New York right now, so. Do you have any final words before we depart? Um, I got a mixtape coming out. Hold on, hold on. Anything hold you didn't say? Anything, you know? No, nah, I mean, you ain't asked all your questions, but. Um, what do you mean? I, I asked no, every... I don't know. I don't know. Whatever you want to ask, you can ask. But I just really want to let y'all know that I got a mixtape coming out January 16th. But you meant to ask all my questions. Nah, I remember you telling me you was going to ask me some other stuff, but... I no, I matter. did not. Less is more. No, I did not. I didn't tell you. Anything. Less is more. Well, you talked about getting shot already. you finish with all your questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fault, Flip. I didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I, I was less is more, that. though. My, you know my ego don't get the best of me like that. It's all good. You got. You talked about you getting shot. Hit me with the guy for him. We talked about your fake coat. <laughs> yeah. You talked about my bad drip. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't talk about that. They didn't. No, we ain't talk about it because it was behind the scenes when I had to fix his coat. He was on some other. He had oh. a V-neck bubble. <laughs> That's yeah, tucked in, huh? You know what's your problem though? I don't need. I'm, I'm so ill. I'm from. I'm first of all, I'm from Queens. I didn't get that out of the way. Well, but in the era, right? Yeah, facts. Second of all, you I from don't Westside Merritt. No, I'm from, I'm from Linden and Farmer, but oh, I, I grew, okay, I grew okay, up okay. in Westside Merritt. The tough guys in Westside Merritt. Yeah. From where I'm, I'm from everywhere. So you from like the suburbs? Of so no, nah, yeah, yeah. Wherever you. No, I'm you, just asking. I'm however, to... however, however you tell it, but I tell <laughs> I you this: I live in the suburbs too. I got rich. I don't need. I don't need to. I don't need to come to a podcast, sit down for hours, and get fly. Mac, you think we touched the nerve? Again? Like, yeah, like nah, y'all niggas. Not really. Not really? Yeah, you ain't touch cool. no nerve. He know that. Mac know that. No, I said, did we touch on everything? The, one thing's for sure, two things hold for on, sure. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. These niggas know what type hold of time on, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hmm. These niggas is hating. Need... You ain't asked no questions, like, to have them talk about the good shit. I ain't, I, everything is just like, yo, you got Drek, you got Rob, you got this. My man here after all that. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like. We don't got to talk. We, we, we we gonna gonna talk we're going to get to it. That's why we give him a chance. That's what you did. You can't tell me what to ask, though. Nah, I'm just saying. I'm now reminded you what you forgot nah, to ask. Nah, I don't have to ask that. I, I ask my man. Yo, my man. Yo, do you have anything positive or anything negative or anything sure. you want to leave out? And he's... A, but let's get back to what I was saying. I'm a queen, number one. Number two, I'm not going to come to a podcast, sit down for hours, dress and fly like y'all niggas. Why That's not? fly Harlem shit. This is running why around not? shit, though. Yeah, well, I don't, cause but I don't want to. I don't but, need to because I'm that nigga. Didn't you do a chicken noodle soup remix? Mm. So? You inspired by us. You got Harlem I in saw you. your old videos. You used to have some yeah, good Pele's on. Come on, bro. Mm. That was old, but chill. We had to talk about that. So, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about, no, no, let, let's talk about moving forward. What's next for Poe? Facts. What's coming out? 
and what you what what do you want to what's the message you want to give to the youth and to the people? All right, um, those three. Yeah, all right. So what I'm doing, what I'm working on right now is I'm working on dropping my second mixtape January 16th, my mom's birthday. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Look at me, Volume Two, Shout My City or No City, because I'm like on some like show some respect or I'm gonna make you respect it, but music wise, you know what, right. what I'm saying? Um. That's January 12th. I got a video out right now called Silly Shit is doing... Oh, sorry. It's Silly okay. Shit is doing really well. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my trademark dances and, you know, it's the same, you know, party flow. Um, also, I just um, signed with New Management, Mansion ENT. You know, we're doing a lot of positive things for the community. I'm about to start going to the juvenile jails, speaking to the kids. You know what I'm saying? The anti-gun violence rallies. You know, I'm about to start really tight. Rally, not rallies. Yeah, ra yeah. Because that's something that I always wanted to do as a kid. Like, if I don't make it in rapping, I want to be a juvenile counselor. Oh, wow. So it's like wow. living both of my dreams at the same time. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. um, <sighs> jumping into the fashion world head first. I mean, I got a photo shoot tomorrow with Tony Minchin. It's like sponsored by like 10 different clothing lines I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, and as soon as, you know, we finish up with the deal, you know, it's going to be a movie, documentary. Seven Day Theory, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to go all the way in because, you know, not that I feel like I got anything to prove, but I just want to outwork all these people because mm -hmm. I feel like I, I set myself back with a lot of bad decisions. Right. So now I'm just, you know, I'm pushing out the good karma. I'm, I'm doing all the good things I wanted to do, you know? You know? Come to flip the script. Yeah, it's like, a blessing right flip, here. Yeah, oh. flip the script was like, uh, Happy to you know be what I'm saying? Like, Thank you. I was on the other side of the camera for mad times, huh? <laughs> Yo, I'm looking like, yo, like, the only two people who never interviewed me was you and Flat. So I'm like, yo, like, what are y'all waiting for? Mm. So I started working to get myself more hot because somebody hit me with the, oh, Vlad hit me with the, oh, you're not really hot like that with music. So I don't see the point in doing it now. Wait till you get a little bigger. I'm like, all right, cool. So you know, I figured it was the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, like, if you're not relevant right now, what am I interviewing you for? We gave you a chance. You dropped the ball. You did something. You got to go. Yo, I think, oh, you, I think you really took that personal. I did. I think it's personal. Yeah, it's a bad thing. I know. Man. I went to fight King Runner too, but I ain't like this. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't want you nah, to do it. Nah, I'm playing with you. I'm playing with you. You talking about positivity. No, 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 no. BX you know Fight Club. Um, that's positivity. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yo, that, yo, yo, Flip. Mm -hmm. Nah, no, for real, Flip. Can I ask you one question? Sure. Okay, so when I asked you, when I told you I was a legend, why you laughed at me? Just uh, you answer it freely however you want. Like, I just Why? Want to because you sound cocky. But you don't think I'm a legend? No. No? I think that from hearing you the story... You don't think people want to be like me? Listen. You, you think I'm a superhero? Answer. You asked me the answer. Yeah, all right, my fault. I don't think you're a legend, but I think that um, you have marked your... your, your you have sketched your name into the blue. pavement. Yeah, so I New York. deserve a star in Hollywood. No. I'm verified. You work your heart. Let me take a gold record. You work your... Yeah, I got a gold record and a platinum record. I, ain't, I can't talk over you again. No, my fault. Go ahead, bro. You're working very hard, and and that's that's a good thing. I think that you're getting the recognition that you deserve. Yeah, I think that I you know a lot of people. Um, it's a lot of things that come with you. Pause, and you know I think that you. I think that you know sky's the limit. You know, if you ask me honestly, from hearing the stories and see how you all know you personally, I think that sky's the limit, man. I think that I have I have faith in you. Personally. I appreciate you know that. See, that's good. Now I got one more question, if I might. Yeah, I sure. Got you one more. All right, what's the legend to you? What's me. the definition of a legend to you? Me. You. Me. So you're a legend and I'm not. Yeah. Uh, I need another water. You gotta you gotta you gotta, <laughs> I need you gotta, another water. You gotta watch my come up. No, no, no. I did watch no, it. You didn't, you, no, you yes, didn't. I did, no, you did man. It. When Cam was beating you up and all that, I was watching That's all of corny. It. I was yeah, trying to help me. you, you know what I'm saying? Calling you, yo, let me help you now. Nah, I, I seen all the skits, the jokes. Those was all jokes. I mean, I, he, I mean, he said chicken noodle soup. Uh, I know they had to be. Yeah, that was. I was uh, a was, fan since back then. I had a T-Mobile deal in 2007. Oh wow! I, I went was broke. Up. I, I wrote. Was I wrote. I wrote. I wrote, I wrote a book. Mm -hmm. I wrote a book as well. Book? Sold a thousand copies in a week. Then sold thirty thousand copies in all. So then, hold the, on, stop. No, no, no. What's, then, the, what's the sales to this day? Like? I don't know. Then, you don't know. No, I don't. I haven't yeah, checked that, that, don't, that don't sound too business savvy. I'm from two different yeah, places, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. no. I, That don't sound too business savvy, though. Like I know how much I sold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I yeah, yeah. yeah. I got, 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 I got almost a, I got nine hundred and eighty-nine million views, almost at a billion. Um, oh, flip the script. 
Choir room? Or no, no, no. Just everything. No, no, no. Had you don't think it's because of G Money, though? That had nothing to do with flip the script. But hold on, because you, I never see you get no sponsors. The legend don't get no sponsors, right? <laughs> you don't get no sponsors. You never got a fly, like a real put to, like fly outfit. It's always like some Yo, crazy thing you got going on. Like, I don't know if it's because like you don't care no more. Like you just want to just like be on some Austin 316 type stuff. But I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. <laughs> why you why like, like to tell you? No, that's my man. I'm telling the truth. Like, <laughs> nah, bro, yeah. my man. Just like he told me, yo, you're not a legend. I'm mm -hmm. like, all right, cool. So what's so you said you never seen me in a fly outfit, you said? I, I don't know. I, I heard you had a fly car, though. I wasn't home. But I heard you had like one of them real fly cars, like a Gucci interior. I had a Gucci mm -hmm. Cadillac, real, yes. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, listen, listen. Like your man said, we're from two different places. No, um, we're not. No, we're not. We're from New York. Mm. New York two, is small. Two, two different come-ups. Two different come-ups. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, we both had to work hard in our own respected rights. So because you, you got 999,000 million views. Million million view. I mean, I put a lot of work in. This is me right here. This is us That's right here. So the G Money. Paul me, G. I'm just saying, we put a lot of work in. Let's flip. We got paparazzi poll. I think you should do a poll on that. Who's more of a legend? Mm -hmm. they, going, think, nah, they going, they going, they going. Do it in the comments. No, no, don't do it on his. Do, do, do it on the comments <laughs> right now. You. They took, huh? Nah, we, 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 we don't need to do. We don't need. We don't need to do all that. You know nah, why? No, we don't. I'm just being funny. No, nah, we don't need. You being facetious? You my man, yo. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't think you're a legend. Don't wear like yo, Mac. Look. This how you had his coat. <laughs> yeah, it's something like this, bro. Like it was looking like a V neck, huh? I'm like, yo, my man, what's up? Like that's how you know how much you know how much official killers. Let me say this, killers, ill drug dealers, official niggas, billionaires mm -hmm. that ride the train, that wear sandals in the winter. Mm -hmm. But the same sneakers all year long. I wish I could yeah, ride yeah. the train. Hold on, hold on. Hold I'm on. so much of a legend, I can't ride the train. Me, me, me neither. You too. Me neither. I haven't took the train in about 15 years, or the bus. Hmm. Huh? Nah, but you know, <laughs> you, know that. you a legend. Yeah, you want to be a legend, be a legend in your own no, right. No, Every, no, you know I what it is? A, a Everybody's a legend in their own rights. I'm a legend in the world, though. Cool. Google it. Cool. I said cool. I'm worth. Cool. <laughs> I'm not worth nothing. Adrian Broner Googled it, right? If mm. my network didn't come up. You say you don't got nowhere that worth? Now put your real name, your first and last name. It's going to come Adrian up. Adrian Broner Googled it in my network. Because if you Google Paparazzi Poe, it don't show. But if you put my real name, it shows my network. Mm. Uh, I don't, you know. Because so. I got them registered together. Like I own my name. You know what I'm saying? Mm, that's cool. I got my stuff together. Oh, they said, my, they said my. What's your network? Queens Flip Networks. It's 100,000 to a million. Yours? That's what it says, yeah. That's, that's fake. For your first and last name? That's fake. Now, Queen Flip. Queen Flip. Yeah. Oh, Queen Flip. Is it that? <laughs> yeah. Network. All right, so. 100,000 to a million. But why did they say you a rapper? You're not a rapper. Well, he, he, he was. Nah, he, no, 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 no. He's like DJ Khaled. Remember SMD? He's like, yo, man. J.O. about to come. Oh. oh. <laughs> I did music before, though. I had a T-Mobile. Yeah, I got $70,000 from T-Mobile. Oh, you, so yeah. when you was, I, I, I was locked up, remember? So yeah, I, but I don't know. But we're not even doing all this. Let, no, listen. I'm just trying to figure out. Everybody's a legend they own, bro. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not, not, I'm not dick hanging with you. I'm not I dick think measuring. That, I think that, I think. You're right, you're a legend. I, I, yo, this is stats, You right? are a legend. This is stats, right? I get sponsors. I got 10 sponsors for my photo shoot tomorrow. You have no sponsors. G Money has all the sponsors. Every show I look at, you be like, yo, my man, like, yo, who these sponsors? You ain't giving me nothing. Like, yo, who's sponsoring you? If you're supposed to be a legend, like, yo, come on, man. You got extra stuff. Only got that beard shit, though. Yo, yo, oh, hold on, hey, hold on, there you go. See hold, on, hold on. Don't say nothing. <laughs> keep it, keep it, keep it. Don't yo, I that. like this guy. Don't say nothing. I'm going to give him one for me, too. Man. He got to give one, too. It's my man. He cool, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, what you think, yo? I like how you jump on this. Think how you want to think. I ain't think you got it. You my man. I got love for you. I'm going to do the work. I'm going to support you. Do the poll? I'm going to do the poll. If you do the poll, I'm going to block you. <laughs> no, I'm what not going to tag you. I'm not going to tag you. If, you. if I see the poll, I'm going to block you. <laughs> what? Right, friends I'm don't do that. Friends don't do that. You don't need... Friends don't do that. You don't right. need... You're right. Cause I, I wouldn't do that on my page, a poll with you, because people have a lot of bad things to say about you. I wouldn't be able to say that. But you wouldn't even be able to see it, though. I'm going to block you. I ain't going to do the poll, man. Yes, you are. Because you don't listen. I see the eyes. No, I'm just trying to figure out. <laughs> I see your little beady eyes. No, oh. I'm just trying to figure out how, like, he say, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, you're not a legend, but I am. I'm just like. All right, cool. I said you're a legend. No, I'm just trying to figure out what's a legend to you. you didn't I don't know what a legend Well, hold on, hold on. What's you, a legend to you, you G Money? Let's see if you can. Hold on. Now, hold on. Earlier in the show, you said Michael Jackson was a legend. Yes. You don't think he's a legend? I he do. Is, of course. So, yeah. so how would we make. Because guys... a legend is somebody who makes history. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I made history. Remember YG, the gang? 
from the reason why everybody was that. Like, I was the influencer. I changed the game. Mm. The way people dress, I was the first person wearing real skin-tight jeans. When people say, oh, that's gay. That was Poe. Jim Jones was. No, that's, he got it from us. He's from our block. We the young fly kids from the block. He followed behind us. Mm. Bro, my je my seven jeans was skin tight when I came to jail 2004. Ask Casanova. He was in my three-upper with me. And that ain't even the reason he a legend. The no, reason he a legend. I was going by. Because everybody <clears throat> at one particular time was following everything this nigga did. After he long gone, his name going to remain because he put so much How work in. I'm 32. You don't say age. I'm 32. I'm the same age as you. Niggas I put know. work in, man. A lot of people follow behind you this know. dude. They you're still a, do all legend. over the world. Mm -hmm. Bro, I survived three generations. Cool. Me Popping, too. popular, and money up. I mean, How many people got all three? <laughs> Popping, popular, and I still got money. We got mad has -beens. Back in the days when I was doing this. And they got on FUBU. <laughs> like, I'm, who followed you? Nobody ever followed you. Mm. Cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like like the hat you got on. I would never wear that. Oh. You yeah. know what I'm saying? My that, man hat. Shout out to my man Bino. Oh, okay, okay. You know, that's my man too. Shout out to Bino. Gangsta. I do but wear that. I thought J.O. made those. Nah, but the colors I'm, throwing me off. I promote that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm nah, not, it don't match your sneakers at all. Don't, it doesn't. Don't, it don't it stick doesn't, your foot up. Don't it doesn't. Do I can't do that though. No, <laughs> but your pants is, is disturbing me because they two colors. Like, and, yo, we and it's do Nike. That. Yeah, you have to wear Nike with Adidas. Nah, yes, you can. What? Somebody, Because somebody said that? But let me tell you something. Yes, you can. I'm not going to dick measure with you. I'm going to tell you why. Because I'm, I'm I'm comfortable with my skin. Facts. I'm Queen's Flip. I'm pretty sure you are. You know what I'm saying? I do Web and Nitty Era. I'm from the Web and Nitty Era. I do what I do. Mm. You know, you got to do what you got to do. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. I, I'll let you finish talk about me. No, you know what I'm saying? And show you, you why I'm a legend. I'm just trying to figure this out. You know what I'm saying? I'll show you why I'm I'll let you continue to talk about me and show you why I'm a legend. Let's go. You bro. talk about sponsors. You need to Google what my sponsors is. You need to Google. No, it's one. I know. It always comes on in the beginning. You need to Google right? where they are. <laughs> he do a presentation like, yo, this is this. They got something. I forgot the name of it. Maestro. Yo, you heard about Maestro? I thought that was a restaurant. <laughs> That's a steak right. restaurant. Look, see? My old studio used to be across the street from the one in the Bronx. Maestro's is me. 76ers okay. and WWE, hmm. all on the same thing. I'm, I'm, I'm part of that roster. So you up there. So I don't need to really... So you, your one sponsor is killing all 15 of his. Because every time I look... Not 15 of his. Not, no, he, he got new ones. He had something last yeah. time. We're on the same sponsor, but it's killing all 15 of yours. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Let's sign out. Sign nah, out. <laughs> all right, yo. My name is Papa <laughs> Rossi Poe, man. Shout out to Flip the Script. Shout out to my nigga Flip. Nah, it's, always, it's always the Harlem. G-Money. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate we all here. I would say this though, if it's true about Mr. Man Cosan and he was there, you know, as far as the jail stuff, that that is that's it, that is admirable because I know that you know it, it. That's why I'm a legend know. right there. Sixteen fights, I won all of them. First person to take a crib house and turn it into a blouse. First person to go to every house he went to and take it after that. Went up north. They said the YGs couldn't live up north. I was living up there four years, untouched. Well, we don't need to talk about that. We, no, we, I'm just saying, that's why I feel we like We ended I'm it on a positive note. You know, no, yeah, this was you so see positive. You see what your man said earlier? You see what your man said, yo, yeah, yeah, I ain't talking about nothing positive. Nah, nah that's, that's good. He want to go, he wanna go back to the negative stuff. That's, that's nah, good. Nah, he turned nah. up when he was supposed to. He a living legend, man. Niggas know who he is. That's a fact. And there was a point in time where ain't nothing go, ain't nothing happen without his words. You feel me? So that's, that's, that's well, you know. Yeah. I ain't gonna call that a legend, but I call that somebody that stumped their name. All right, I'm a living legend, and you. A legend. You know what? You know, you know, in, in you... a can up north, you know what run the jails, right? Bloods. He wanna. He one of the only niggas to ever go against blood. You feel what I'm saying? One of the only yeah, niggas I'm to go live, against the yeah, grain. Talk about it. For me, he got a little slash, got a little cut, whatever. Things. But at the same time, everybody. Like you, what's your what's your town crew? My fault, not to cut you off. What's your town crew? I don't know. No, I'm saying like, all right, what kind of crew you called yourself when you was rapping? When you used to be a rapper, what was your click name? I didn't have one. That's like you taking Riot Squad to the jails and, and going crazy. It, I actually you gang in prison. And everybody like, yo, sk 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 like people from everywhere, everywhere, all over the whole 52 states, they yeah, jacking. Yeah. You feel know I me? Mean? <laughs> they jacking the G's, you heard? I was like, that's what he did. The most. That, that's that's, that's impressive. But, mm, mm. To the point where right now, if he was lit, He'll have a whole movement all over the like the world, basically. Yeah. You feel me? Cause niggas is YG all over the world. Congratulations. You know I mean? Waiting for dope. him to get back on. So it's like yeah, when he get back on, on, the floodgates are open again. Cause it'll be cool to fuck with him. And then you see yeah, mad nah, niggas coming out the woodworks. Yo, I remember yeah. I was YG back in 07, Pope. Remember that? Yeah, that's when that's gonna happen. You feel me? So 
That's, that's what's going on. Cool. Yo, yo. Get Shout out to 112 Street, man. Yeah, 112 Street, 113 Street, street Harlem World. You already know, man. Yo, yo, oh, my yo, buzzing's my out there. Yo, 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 yo. Yo. My Mine's shit. Is, oh, my yeah, my shit. B Machiavelli underscore one twelve, man. No Sh- fair management. Not no fair management. Shout out the motherfucking discontinued cloth. My, mm-hmm. my buzzing. That's one of his sponsors. Conehead. Oh. Shitting me. That's one of his sponsors. We here. Well, we can do my sponsors. Or well, I'm not allowed to. Sure. Shout out. Shout out. Wherever you want. Shout out to Mansion ENT, Urban Media Global, One Third of Greatness. No fear. Um, twelve twelve management. Um, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. I don't want to miss nobody. Flip the script behind the scenes. Yeah, thank you for having us, G Money. You nah, cool, man. I like oh, you. Oh, 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 yeah. Nah, he cool. He can hang out on Thirteenth Street, like you know where everybody be rolling dice out on the CC show. He can come hang out with us. What? He good money. Damn, I think my, my, my first. That's C- what G Money stand for. I think good money. This is good. Right, now, Queens flip. He good when I'm out there. Gucci. That's my guy. Like if I'm with him, I'm Gucci. We family. Are y'all finished? I think you should just lay off on certain things you wear. That's it. Yeah, again, B Machiavelli underscore 112. some stuff. You got to make me understand that. Paul, give me social media, Paul. Paparazzi underscore Paul underscore. That's my main page. P-O-P-B-E-R-A-Z-Z-I underscore P-O. I wear what I want because I'm from Queens. You right. Right. Well, G Money, you from Queens? Facts. So what happened there? Southside. So <laughs> they owe some Queens, yeah? Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, I don't got nothing to prove. Nah, you right, but you still talking about it. Uh, so nah, gonna, nah, I'm talking. I'm responding. Got to prove something. Nah, 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 nah. I could be whatever you. I'm you responding man, to you. You my man. You my man. Look, I'm responding. You yeah. won the last word because I said that my sponsor outshot all your sponsors. You had to get the last. What's your sponsor that's name stuck, again? Yeah, that's stuck. That's stuck in your brain, <laughs> huh? It's, it's huh? just a restaurant. It's stuck in your brain. It's just yeah, a yeah, yeah. It's just a restaurant. Yeah, it's just a restaurant. Yeah. I don't know. I got a check for every hole in your vest. Ooh. Look at your jacket. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. Oh, hold on. You, 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 you wanted to show people the, the braids today, right? Or, or no? You want to keep on the wraps? That's cool. You can see my little... What you, what you, want? you said it's the first time that yeah. anybody's seen your... Yeah, nobody never knew I had braids. I think only Flip knew. He's the only person I really answer the phone FaceTime for. Mm. He seen me with them, though, but you know, they get in there. Mm. My Ooh. mom's like, you know... My head, so I just kept shout it. Shout out to Mama Love. Shout yeah, shout out to Mama Blood. She the realest. That's who raised Blood. me. You still looking at, you still trying to look, trying to think of something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just chilling. Yeah, you're talking one last one off, right? Yeah, you got anything else? You good? I text him. All right, cool. We signing out, man. Dope episode. You know, shout out to Poe. Shout out to my man. What's your name again, bro? B Mac, homie. B Mac. B Mac. Shout out to B Mac. I like this guy, man. He, You know what I'm saying? Yo, Lo- loyal dude, loyal dude. Waiting. Like he, you, you, you was good for bringing him here today. You know what I'm yeah. saying it made sense for him to sit on the couch. Some people sit on the couch and they be snoozing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like yeah. he, he held it down. <laughs> man, Shout out to the sponsors, the man. It's crazy because we, yeah. like, we used to always say that, like, if you ever do flip the script, bro, I gotta be there with you. Nah, cause yeah, cause, cause he, the whole time he paying attention, he listening, and he knew when to jump in and make sure he. Yeah, added in certain I, I parts. I get so caught up, I can't even really explain everything. Yeah, he, yeah. He so said. he he made sure he he, he caught everything. You know my Love man, you shitting me? <laughs> oh, what's up? Yo, what's up, right? Boy, but uh, cool. oh. Like I said, shout out to the sponsors one time, man. You know what I'm saying? Number one draft pick. <laughs> Yo, you ain't even shout out your sponsors today, bro. No. <laughs> shout, shout out to the sponsors one time. They don't have you know what I'm saying? We out here two times. Two times. Two for one special today. You know, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Out here for real. Yeah, it's for different, man. Point. You know what I'm saying? Let me show what's going on out here, man. What's going on out here today? At Flip the Script Pod, at Queens Flip with a Z, at DJ G Money 156 on our IG. You know what it is, all right? Queens Flip, URL TV. TV. Uh, you know. Follow us on Instagram, Flip the Script Pod. Follow me on Instagram. Follow DJ G Money, DJ G Money 156. Remember, lock your door. Hey, yo, hold on. DJ G Money. Your Instagram account. You're not using your account, man. I'm Sell not? my man the account. No. Oh, the, oh, the, oh, the, yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah. My fault. It's all right. See, you see, jumping out the window again. No parachute. <laughs> oh, I love that promo. Yeah. I can't wait to give you some of my clothes. I mean, yo, yo, I'm doing my 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 exit. You're on TV. TV. Remember, lock your doors, close your windows, close your blinds, open your blinds. If you see a nigga like, out, uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> he gotta wait. He Bring it back. 
<laughs> if you see a nigga like paparazzi pull on your lawn, don't be afraid to use a firearm. I'm from Queens. Wow. If you see a nigga like B Mac on your lawn, let him in. He don't mean no harm. I'm from Queens. Huh? <laughs> Dumbass. Dumb